and she lost them and she said and the thing is now they were they were handmade they're irreplaceable and I said Do you know what you've got a point there Alice yeah they are irreplaceable because they were original if you want to make that irreplaceable jewelry and that's the point isn't it that original piece it, you know how special is this and if you're thinking about getting Gemma's challenge today I would certainly use these irreplaceable jewelry that's what we're creating and when we're creating that we want to make it as special as special as we possibly can I'm gonna give you a buy one get one free was buy one get one for two pounds sorry so am I guessing 80 in total or am I getting two times 80 right 80 in total oh I see and these are four mil are you ready to get yourself involved P S G C10 is your item code you should ordinarily pay 6.95 for 40 but I'm going to give you a deal that means that you pay for 40 and get another 40 for just two pounds at eight pounds and 95 pence this is a double trouble deal limited stock of course because it's solid sterling silver and most definitely there maybe you want to have your jewelry valued most definitely there to give that perception of a higher value for sure and then you know with sterling silver it is going to last, it's not going to tarnish. So, if it's those bridal pieces, then these are what you need. £8.95. One of two ways in which you can come shopping with us here today at Jewelry Maker 0800 or all the w's.jewelrymaker.com. Make sure you are checking out baskets if you are shopping online. Now, when you see what Gemma has made out of her first kit today, you're going to be knocked sideways and again these are going to be the perfect addition to Gemma's first kit anything I'm giving you today that's high-end I think these would look absolutely stunning with imagine a pair of little drop earrings with one or two of these Gem I know you use sterling silver a lot because it's quite important to you isn't it what about yeah. these these little spacey balls well it, they just add that element and when you make a sterling silver piece if it's all gemstones and it's just the clasp that's sterling silver I don't know you just feel like Yes, it's sterling silver, but it's nice to have an extra little piece all the way running mm. all the way through, even if it's just one to separate the centre to stones or something. So they're really useful. So nice for your customers, a nice, ni something nice to offer to your customers. Something nice to give as a gift. Yeah. And you get loads here. The value's good, isn't it? Yeah. You get eighty for for eight ninety five. It's really yeah. good. The value's good. And I did a sale Friday, and it was the little box sets of sterling silver that you know still in silver jewelry that's sold because people can visualize giving those as a gift yeah so yeah will you be doing gloucester gloucester mm. christmas market no christmas i haven't fair. done it. i'm not doing any fairs this year i haven't got time too busy she's yeah. too busy eight ninety five. oh now kim sorry you just told me most of the stock's gone how much have i got left we've only got 60 of these left well over 100 of these 120 of these have already gone so make sure you are checking out your baskets now. I'm going to give to you. Do we do? Oh, I'm trying not to sneeze. I'm not sure if it's going to work. Don't sneeze. Don't sneeze. Don't look at the light. Oh. Okay, it's gone. Sorry. Look, look. I'm I'm tidying up. No, I know. It's what they make me do on the other shift side. <laughs> I'm way scared of them, yeah. You lot are all nice, they're all really scary. Now, we're gonna give to you. We've got another DVD launch for you today as well, by the way. I'm gonna give to you a gorgeous, oh, another DVD um, and some needle felt. Was I allowed to say that or was it a secret? It was a secret, but I've said it. I'm a bit naughty with telling everybody's secrets, aren't I? Sorry, Kim. Sorry, Kim. Now, she doesn't, she went, oh, don't tell you now, secrets no more. Have a look. Have a look at what I've got for you. Now, aren't these amazing? Look at that flat edge. And again, if you're really good at soutash, these are good for that, aren't they? But also, if you want to do a bit of polymer clay soutash, they're flat. Look at the edge. 
Now, if you want to do your bead weaving, it's easier with a flatter edge. Or if you want to do wire work around there, easier with the flatter edge. That's not the only one I'm going to give you with the flat edge. I love this. Do you know how hard it is to get gemstones kim with flat edges on them if you're doing all of that stitching? And again, look at the look at the cut. They're so thick. This is perfect. I'm not good enough at soutache to go around a heart yet. But if you are, or if you're thinking I'm going to be in the future, then grab the, I, I love the way they slot together. I love the colors here. It's not just this, by the way, but these two are catching my eye because of the flatness. They're very, very Christmassy. And also, we had a guest, we had a, a guest on on Sunday that came into the experience. What's her name? It'll come to me in a minute. And she'd done a flower, it was Jill. Jill had done a flower out of hearts, white hearts. It was, in, it was incredible. Hang on, was Sunday just yesterday? It was, wasn't it? It was only yesterday. Now, she did the, the most amazing heart. I loved it. Do you know, they gave me a box of chocolates to give to the kids. I ate them all on the way home. I feel terrible. I feel terribly guilty. But, um, but I can't sit there next to an open box of chocolates on a two and a half hour journey. Now, look at these. You've also got black hearts. Love these. I've got something else exciting. This bundle's amazing, Kim. Hearts sell out really quickly, by the way. Now, look at these. These, these I'm going to particularly love. Now, I love these for their flat edges. I love these because they're black hearts. They look amazing with silver. They look very classic, very Chanel, very Thomas Sabo, very Lynx of London. You know, a lot of the designers using the black and silver look. Have a look at these. These are side drilled hearts. Do you know how many people have been asking us more side drilled hearts, more side drilled hearts? I have a strand for you here. Here we go. Of side drilled hearts. Have you, hearts, sorry, sorry, hearts, darling, sorry, sorry, I let my actual accent slip out then. <laughs> no, it's because Gemma's here. When Gemma and um, Laura Binden are here, I got no chance, love. Now, um, Gem, when you've got the side drilled heart, heart, what do you, <laughs> I like, you know I'm mad at Rosary Lincoln because it's the only thing I'm good at. Um, I love that, but there's there's got to be more because so many people are asking for side drilled hearts. Why side drilled hearts? Because it's easy to set into a ring, and they yes. sit the right way up. Yes. Um, and the secondly is when you want a higher neckline. So great with a rosary chain with the other top drilled hearts because yeah. you they you know they point downwards as they drink link down. But if you want sort of a choker style necklace, those are ideal because they sit as little hearts around the neck rather than sideway hearts. You know. So they're obvious. Yeah, I mean, they're obvious hearts when they're. Yeah. Let me yeah. let me try that out. I, c I can wear a choker today with this dress, yeah. can't I? Yeah. You just pop them around your neck. The great. The other great thing is because of the because of how they sit together, they create that lovely sort of V to to dangle another stone in between. Oh yes. You know, so they they're just a nice shape as well as you know the sentiment behind the the shape. Obviously, I'd sort that out so they weren't all higgledy piggledy. Yeah. Now, these are great for Christmas because of the colour. Don't forget, of course, Valentine when's Valentine's Day? February, February isn't it? That's yeah. not that far away. Yeah. And most people have finished their Christmas jewellery. So you're probably thinking about what else comes afterwards, springtime. And I know, you know, I, know I know, so many of you, people who aren't crafty are probably watching now and thinking, are you mad? I'm not thinking about that. I'm still thinking about Christmas. But crafty people, the other day, I was speaking to someone crafty, you wouldn't believe it. They were making their Easter cards. Yeah, of course. Are yeah. you mad? Yeah, it's happening. To. You've got, got to be to. ahead of your game, I suppose, if it's a business. Of course you have. Dalmatian Jasper. Do you, I love it. Aren't these great together? They look so cool in some earrings. They look so beautiful. I'd like to see that with um, black wire. Yeah, black wire do. earrings yeah, would be lovely. Yeah. I don't use enough black wire. No. Just thinking how gorgeous that would look. It is. It, black wire is lovely lovely as a little accent or just for the odd flourish Very what nice. about black and silver together with the wire twister tool yeah but that's yeah. nice isn't it yeah monochrome you can't beat it can you it's I'm timeless gonna, i'm gonna do that hannah oxford's been down here with that wire twister tool this morning she was in it she was in just before eight having a little play with all the tools i thought she'd locked you in the cupboard well i rang her because i was stuck on the m42 oh bless you <laughs> so, rang, so she came in just in case she was in ready yeah. she was ready she was ready <laughs> now I've also got for you moss agate. Have a look at this. How wonderful is this bundle? You've got six strands of hearts. Hearts, 
offer sentiment, hearts, offer the opportunity for your customers to go for that sentiment. They're just beautiful all year round. They're always in style, they're always in fashion, they're always gonna add. And again, if you are doing any other crafts, fusion them together. Can you imagine your, your, uh, your embossing powders with these? Can you imagine putting those flat hearts in with your paper craft? They'd look amazing. A genuine gemstone card. If you've got any of our gem art, I mean, this is my, my new thought, because I know how many of you out there are doing your card crafts, Get some gem art, we've got some on the website, because you'll make the most amazing cards out of genuine gemstones. How mind-blowing is that? But I do think these would look great incorporated with that as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. I keep having to check, there are six strands. Are you sure you're doing this price? Like you should be paying over 40 pounds for this. Kim is a little bit cheeky as always. JQG C30 is your item code. It's wonderful to have your company this morning. So many of you loving the queen of hearts deal which is that you are only paying 25 pounds this morning hearts are our biggest seller one of our biggest sellers in shape hearts then flowers then stars you love them we cannot get enough of them god bless you Gemma Crow. 25 pounds for all of this we're all allergic this morning. <laughs> all of this. 0800 or the w's.jurymaker.com. Those are the two ways in which you can come shopping with us. Use your debit card, use your credit card. Make sure you're checking out baskets. Don't forget, if you're shopping with us today, I don't know if you know this, Gemma, this is absolutely mad. If you, if you come shopping with us today, yeah. you, we're gonna extend the money back guarantee from now until the 31st of January, 2014. Well, that's a long time, isn't it? I don't know anywhere. I keep saying 2014 like, it's so far in the future, I never even realised I would still be alive in 2014. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know what you mean. Amazing. Claire's just giving me a countdown to Christmas. Five weeks, two days, and how many hours? Nine hours? Minus nine hours. I'm very excited. Are you excited? Not yet. Are you not? No, I've got too much to do yet. You've got too not much ready to do. At all. We've done our Christmas card already. Have we had our family Christmas card, and Chloe and Kim were just like... <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so cringy that it's brilliant. Get us, get us to text in, because, get us to text in. Text us in with the name of the first kit. We're going we're gonna to give you an opportunity. You are going to get, what are you going to get? I'll send you one of my Christmas cards. <laughs> I think you should put the Christmas card up, Kim, for everyone to see. Now, I'll email it to you in, later. <laughs> Now, I'm going to give to you, oh, look at this. They remind me of those lovely mint, um, the chocolates, mint chocolates when you uh, bite into them. The, no, they're limes, aren't they? Chocolate limes, mm. Now, I'm gonna show the jewelry in a minute, but you've got wire, you've got three strands, you've got your beading materials, You've got everything and the cabochon. You will win a bead scoop by renaming the kit for us today. What's it called at the moment, Kimmy? Morning mist. Oh, I love a morning mist. I do. We had one of them. Make sure you put your customer number on. It's 60777 James Studio, followed by your message. I'm just making, I'm just molding the piece of jewelry so that it fits to my wrist. <laughs> Can I wear it, please? It's beyond amazing, Kim. It's absolutely outstanding. You don't need to buy me a Christmas present anymore. <laughs> Gemma has only used what's in the kit. How amazing is this? Gemma, it's so very Downton. It is very Downton, isn't it? I've set loads of cabochons in necklaces and, you know, for pendants, and I thought, well, let's do one on a wrist. I literally am in love with this jewelry. Everything you've done today is absolutely mind-blowingly fabulous if you think this is good stay tuned Gemma is, is gonna set our screens on fire with creativity today absolutely wonderful inspiration is coming through your TV screens momentarily rename the kit for us at the moment it's called morning mist Kim's not Kim's not keen on it you've chosen one what's it called We've chosen, we've chosen a winner. So the new name of the kit is gonna be, oh, 
Midnight Sorbet. Who did that? Oh, that's a good one. Mandy. I love a bit. I love a midnight feast, do you? There's nothing worse. That feeling in the morning, though. Oh, why did I eat all that? Cause you're starving hungry when you wake up in the morning, aren't you? But a sorbet. Midnight Sorbet. How lovely is that? So, we are going to give to you the opportunity to create this outstanding piece of jewellery amongst other pieces of jewellery that Gem has done today and I'm going to show you exactly what this kit indeed entails. Let me take these gemstones. You already love them. I just think the fact that you get a cabochon takes your design so much further doesn't it? So you have got here the three rounds now again if you love soutache here's an opportunity for you to get some very soutacheable strands. You've got pre and I at eight mil. You have got your agate rounds at six mil and then four mil at the black striped sparkly faceted agates as well now you're also getting this fabulous fabulous cabochon really deep moss green and that is of course what you see there in the center the great thing about genuine gemstones is every single one is going to be individual you've always got your money back guarantee so i love that about it then you've got 0.6 when have we ever had 1.25 wire in a kit? What do you mean, shh? Oh, sorry, was I not supposed to draw? I wasn't supposed to draw attention to that. Kim thought Paula had the day off today. Oh, dear, Kim. 1.25 wire, 0.6 wire, two amazing gauges. One, of course, giving you the structure. That 1.25 is giving you your backbone, just like I'm going to show you here, actually. So just like this piece here, the 1.25 is literally the frame and everything else looks like uh, correct me if i'm wrong Gemma. everything but the frame and the swirls here so yeah. all the in between bits and uh, and in fact how you've haloed the gemstone that's all done with 0.6 is that right that's right yeah. okay now yeah. i'm gonna so the 0.6 is there but the but you wouldn't have been able to do this without the 1.25 giving you that that backbone would no, you no that's right and because it's you know it's not a clasp bracelet it needs to be able to be molded to the wrist like you just have mm. and still hold its strength so yeah, the 1.25 is perfect for that. It's one of our favourite gauges, Gemma, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Just makes one of brilliant mine. rings, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. I love it for those neat swirls that you've done as well. Don't forget to add Gemma's fabulous findings DVD to your order if you want to be able to make your own findings out of wire. I think that would be a great addition to this kit, actually. Don't forget you're also getting 98 fabulous findings. You've got a metre of chain, and, and all of these findings, by the way, are eco-t copper with an overlay of genuine sterling silver. Nature chain, three of your ribbon ends with the extender cords. You've got your open jump rings, your uh, head pins, your eye pins, three pairs of shepherd's hooks, your crimp beads, your crimp bead covers, your flat donuts, your nautical style clasp. I always think it looks like a ship's helm. The toggle clasp. You've also got your lobster claw clasp in there too. And you've got your silver ball. So absolutely everything you need to get started. And talking of getting started, if this is your first ever purchase here at Jewelry Maker, I always think it's a clever idea to get um, a kit as your first order for, for many different reasons but three in particular number one you get everything you can start creating as soon as you get on number two you get a free tutorial DVD with your very first order so you can work with your kit straight away and number three I am at three right because I nearly said C uh, C <laughs> <laughs> I'm so stupid. Now uh, you get you get also the opportunity if if a kit is your first ever purchase, you make jewelry up and you think can't do it. We're so confident that you can. That if you tell us you can't, send us the jewelry back this is only with your first kit, and we'll still give you your money back even if you've used the findings even if you've taken this well of course you will have taken the strands part and used the findings <laughs> fine that's how confident we are here's a here is what well, i don't know why i'm pointing at you here is <laughs> the dvd there's a what sorry there's a fourth reason yeah because the designers make the designs which go on the website so that you can then emulate or copy those designs as well so even the thinking's done for you if you want to just go for it see she's not just a pretty face and an amazing designer you're so right Jen though because you've got the inspiration and it's been put together by designers as well so you yeah. know that it's going to flow Okay. See, and here she is. And if you have got questions for that wonderful lady, Gemma Crow, here's a copy of our JM Hub magazine. Now, this should come through your door every month. Somebody said to me they weren't getting theirs every month. If, if so, just give the call centre a ring. You should be getting it every single month. This is amazing. Is this Liz? Yeah. 
Isn't that fab? She, I've got her on my show next week. I'm really excited. I love her. She's great, isn't she? Now, you also get information <coughs> on workshops and tutorials. And you do get, oh, there's my book. So here's all our information on workshops and tutorials. Whoopsie daisy. Hang on, I'm going down. Oh, there we are. <laughs> and you're going to get a book as well to get started. So there's everything that you get. Now back to the kit because we are very popular on the website and I haven't even given you your price tag yet. I am sorry if you're shopping on, on the phone lines. Let's give you your price tag. Uh, get yourself on the phones if you're not already. 0800 644 655. Double five. Sorry, Kim just said you should be paying over 40 pounds as I went to say five and I said six double pounds. <laughs> six double five. Now, I'm going to give you your price tag. <laughs> so you should be paying over £40. Well, this is very naughty. Don't forget, you. this is very naughty. You, you've got those two gauges of wire in there as well, 10 metres of each. Wig and the capuchin and the gemstones and the findings and the extended money back guarantee everything all of this for under 20 pounds we know this is wonderful value we know oh, do you know what i think we're unbeatable here price wise i really do especially when you go shopping elsewhere gem yeah, yeah and the quality is always great you know the gemstones are never frosty never dusty when Maybe, you get them well, sometimes, most of the time they're glass aren't they yeah yeah i love that you're getting this deal I've been doing price. a lot of price researches lately and it's made me realise, because you know you get a bit complacent and you get a bit like, oh yeah, well yesterday we did it at this place. Do you know, if you compare us to so many other companies and always correct us, if you find something that we're doing and you find it for less, let us know. Because as, as far as I'm concerned, I've been out there and I've looked at prices and I think we are fan blooming tastic and, and actually a little bit bananas. but. That's our policy, isn't it? Fantastically bananas. Let's get over talking of fantastically bananas. Can I bring you anything? Have you got everything you need? Do you want wire? No, I've got everything I need, I think. Fabulous. I can't wait to get over to Gemma and have a look at all of those wonderful designs that you know you're going to fall in love with. If you think you have fallen in love with the bracelet, let's check out all of Gemma's other fantastic designs and we knew she wouldn't i mean how many pieces of jewelry do you want to make let me it went on and on yeah i had oh half my a, gosh. i had a little bag of um the black striped tie gate as well left and wire not much wire you did really fair. oh my god the 1.5 mil wire had loads left because you know you only use it for your framework and your structure so plenty more of that left the ring you've done now it's all about that 1.25 wire yeah, isn't it it is you can't do it with a lesser wire, really. I mean, that is outstanding. It's wonderful. I love it. Just everything. The wire work, I don't know where to begin because I love it all. I mean, look at, the, look at these necklaces. I really enjoyed this kit. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it because of see. that 1.25 element on, as well. I can't. I'm looking at all your jewelry and I can't decide which, which <laughs> kit I like the best today. I like them all. Look at this. Oh, it's just amazing. It's boutique. I mean, look at this detail. Isn't it wonderful? It really is wonderful. You're amazing. Then have a look. I love the loops that you're making. Now, of course, we can see that these loops are flat, so you've obviously used your chase hammer yeah, there. I have, yeah. And then you've used a weave here, moving away from the wire work, which is quite difficult yeah. once you get started. It is. I bet you thought, right, okay, I'm not going to do everything wire, but you, it is difficult. It is difficult, but you know, the, in that one, the gems do the talking, don't they? And you know, they are gorgeous in their own right. I love it. And then look at the bracelet here. Oh, none of this is getting broken down, is it? So that's four bangles there, but I've, I've just joined them together with a, with a jump ring so that they can all go on together. That looks like it's from a very expensive shop. I think you know which one I'm talking about. Yeah. Then you've got a simple bracelet. Sometimes it's just nice to keep it simple. Yeah. And that's what you've done here. And then look at the earrings that match. Well, both necklaces actually, they match, don't they? Yeah. Oh, I love it. And of course, not forgetting, not forgetting this. 
the cabochon, or I love the cabochon. I love working with the cabochons at the moment, and there's so many ways you can capture them and hold them in. That is, you know, it's a real nice challenge to be exploring that at the moment. And it looks like something that you've got from a jeweler's. It looks like something that actually has come out of an antique jeweler's. This is a very Victorian look. It's very vintage looking, isn't it? Yeah. I love it. Now, are you going to demonstrate this today? No, I'm not. And we're going to save something like that for one of our afternoon shows where we can go right the way through and then there's no frustrations or okay. anything with missing bits. So, but what I thought I would show you today is right through, the, right through the kit, I've used one technique in several of the pieces. So, I'm going to yeah, talk, I you, can through, see the ring, talk yeah. you through the earrings, which you can then um, use the same technique to make the ring. Yeah. And then the same technique as on the, pen the small pendant and on the loopy necklace. So it's one technique that goes all the way through. So if you know that one, then you can make up the rest of the kit um, in exactly the same way. And again in the ring, sorry I had the ring on. Here we are. Don't waste any time, does she? <laughs> of course I don't. This is like being invited into Madonna's house and going upstairs and looking at her wardrobe as if I'm yeah. not going to try all those clothes on. <laughs> it's exactly the same thing, girls. Right then, so to make, let's, let's, um, let's, I'll tell you what, I'll talk you through the ring because... Because um, you know I'm going to steal this one. I know you're going to steal yeah. it. And also, it's, it, there's a useful tip on how to size that ring, red, you know, for oh. the right size. So if we go through that, it'd be probably more useful. Okay, great. Okay, so <laughs> when you're sizing a ring like this, obviously there's no wrapping involved, so you want to make it the exact size straight off. Oh, okay. So what I tend to do is take a, um, a scrap piece of wire or a smaller gauge piece of wire and I wrap it around my mandrel on the size I want. So This isn't the wire that's going to be the finished piece then, Gemma? No, this is going to be my measuring stick. And if you like, you can label all these pieces of wire so you know what size... And keep them. And keep them so you know what size to make mm -hmm. in the future. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on the O here. And you want to take, take it all the way around the O. And if so that's the size you're if doing. If that's the yeah. size you're doing. And where it meets, you want to just literally let it overlap about half a centimetre, that's about five millimetres, okay? And then snip it off. All right. So now you've got the exact size you need and this will help you save wire on your thicker wire. So you can open this up and that's exactly how long you need to cut to make a ring that is size O. Okay, so now you pop that alongside your, your 1.25 wire and snip, okay? Mm -hmm. And there we go, that's it. So now you take your 1.25 wire, that is exactly the right size, and go wrap it. It's, even though it's quite, um, quite thick wire, it is really malleable and very soft. So I'm just using my thumbs to push, pup it, push it onto the mandrel. Okay. So you do that a lot actually, Gem. You use your hands quite a lot when you're, when you're working with wire. I noticed that. Is it just because you'd rather get in there and do it? It is, yeah, and, and I've been doing it for a long time and you will find that your hands toughen up and some things are easier with your hands once yeah. you get going. But you, I mean, you can do this with your tools, but it is very soft and very easy just to make a loop on there. So next, next step, if I started to make little loops with my fingers, I think I'd be probably put in a circus or something. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely you use my pliers for the next bit. So for the next stage, I want to create a little eye loop on either end. So if I'm going to separate them out slightly, and it's just like when you separate a jump ring, you don't want to pull oh, it out, you don't want to lose that shape, you want to you almost twist it open, okay, like opening a door. Oh, just like a jump ring? Yes, like a jump ring. Okay, so then take your round nose pliers, and I'm going sort of halfway or a third of the way down my pliers, and I'm going to take it right to the end, and twist it to make a little circle. Okay, this, so there's one. And then I'll do exactly the same on the other side. Another one. Oh. Right on the end. Because you're going right gonna on the end, you're going to go flush, do you? You are going to slip a little bit, but just keep going, you'll get there. Well, if Gemma Crow slips, I'm that's not worried about me slipping. Okay, now it's all a bit misshapen, but that's fine. We can now go in with our flat nose pliers and twist it back into shape. So uh -huh. what, what we want is we want our loops to not be off to one side. We want them sort of sat on top like a lollipop. So like this one here. Like this one, yeah. So all I'm going to do is pop my pliers into the loop I've made and just kink it back so that it's sort of flush. 
on top. Can you see okay, that can we do that one more time? Yeah, can do it on the other side. So you pop your pliers in. So I've got my loop that I've made here. Yeah. We put my pliers in just where that where the wire meets the the next set of wire, and then kink it backwards slightly so that that loop is sitting on top. So that you know it's in almost central. Now then we just want to turn these so that they are facing each other. Each yeah. other. Okay. And then also you want to just kink them back slightly so that they stand in proud from that circle. Okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to pop the mandrel back on now just to reshape it because it will have come out of shape slightly. So if you just pop it on the mandrel. And I don't need to worry around. that you've made it smaller now because you've got the gap because you're going to fill that in with a gemstone. Fill it in with gemstones, yeah. So obviously the bigger the gemstone, the larger you make the first um, Oh, of course, yeah. The first ring. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pop on cut a piece of mine. Are you using a lower gauge of wire this time, yeah? Yeah, I'm using the 0.6, wherever I put it. There it is. I cut a little bit off. A little rascal. I only need a little bit. So I'm going to pop on one of my... Oh, you're going to go put the yeah, some black ones on this time. On. A black one, grey knight, and then a little agate again. Again, when you um, get used to doing these, you'll realise the bigger your stone is in the centre, the, you know, the smaller you need to make your... You'll need to adjust how far you sort of cross over yeah. onto the mandrel. But that comes in just sort of when you work out the design, doesn't it? So now what you need to do is thread one of your wires through the one loop and the other through the other. And pull it in. And pull it. Ooh. And there you go. You've got your wires going through. And now it's a case of taking one side, wrapping firmly around the shank a few times. Now, yours are very, 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 very neat. What's the secret to that, Gem? Right, I've got a very short piece of wire here. If you had a longer piece of wire, I would suggest, if you, if you don't feel confident with your fingers, wrap it through and then hold with your pliers right on the end and then rock backwards and forwards. A bit like doing a ratchet strap on a truck, you know? <laughs> As or if I a, know what a ratchet strap well, on a know, truck you is. You know when you've got a ratchet strap and you do this and it pulls it in tighter. What's a ratchet strap? Uh, anybody got a better explanation? It's, it, it's something that you use to tighten straps. You have it on roof racks and, and usually on the sides of lorries. You know you do the lorry up and you... Not I've much never experience done it. with lorries. I need, no. to get, I need to get more <laughs> truck experience, Gemma. No, you need to get out with those truckers. I need to get out with those truckers, <laughs> it's true. Right, but the, anyway, there's such a thing as a ratchet strap. Okay. I'm sure you could YouTube What it. about like a jack? Oh, you do that? Yes, I suppose. Yeah, that'll yes. do for my the, the action is a rocking action, so you're going okay. rocking backwards and forwards. Don't wobble side to side, that won't do anything. Okay. You really need to rock backwards and forwards, and that will get it nice and tight, okay, and snug. Mm -hmm. You do the same on the other side, so through the shank. Pull it round, I'm going to use my pliers for those of you at home. Round, pop it through again, pull it round. In this, this part you can do as many loops around as you like. You're so neat. I'm just watching thinking, mine's not going to be that neat. Does it, it come does. with time? Neatness. Yeah. I've been waiting 33 it does, years. It does, it does. <laughs> I've just prickled myself. Oh. oh. Okay, so there you go. We've. Um, We've made a ring, basically. There you go. It's, it's easy done. peasy lemon nice squeezy. And simple. You just neaten at the ends. Remember when you cut these ends, because it's a ring, you don't want it scratching anybody. So, what I do is cut it slightly, not on the outside, because that's going to sit in between your fingers, but just slightly towards the back. And then take your flat nose pliers and just, if you hold on to it and then twist them in, that should smooth that right down. Okay. Have you done that in Claire's size? She wants to know. In Claire's size. Um, yeah, I reckon. Probably, yeah. Yeah, she's a... <laughs> these are it great. would fit one of your fingers, Claire. These are great for using up um, from your gem scoops as well, for using up odd gems, and they're also great little sellers at craft fairs. How much would you sell one of these for, then? Five pounds. Is that all? Yeah, I mean, if you've got a really high-end stone, you go up a bit, and if you're using sterling silver, obviously you go up again, but, you know, they take you minutes to make. Use and they cost you not a lot? They don't cost you much at all. I mean, what's that? Probably about... 12 pence, I should oh, imagine. Good profit margin yeah, then. Yeah, that's it. And it's something that people can afford and often they want to take a piece of, of your work home with them and it's nice. That's and the most affordable piece and that's affordable. what they take. Yeah. So it's a great idea if you're doing jewellery parties, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I think rings are what I sold most of on Friday. 
lots and lots. Where do you go on Friday? Um, I have an annual open day at my mum's on, a, on uh, just before Christmas. <laughs> yeah, so Where was my invite? Well, I just never know if you're in the Shire. I haven't been in the Shire yeah. in months. Well, next <gasps> time. Can't you do one at my house then as yeah, well? Yeah, I'll definitely do one at your house. Let's do it. I've got lots of friends. I haven't got lots of friends. Oh, well, They're all I'm in not, the Shire. I'm not coming. I have, I have, but not in. I've only got, I've only got two friends in Hertfordshire so far. <laughs> no. <laughs> Anyone who wants to be my friend in Hertfordshire, just text us in six zero triple seven James Studio, followed by your message. Start it with J with James Studio friend. Uh, that's what I. <laughs> <laughs> How desperate is that? I'm appealing for friends that live in Hertfordshire. Oh. Literally everyone lives by Gemma. Thank you, darling. You're Love welcome. you lots. We're going back over there because there's more to come from Gemma Crow. Watch this space. Now, if we're all getting the, getting the feelers for a bit of a wire, which I'm sure you have, I think you should make sure you're checking out Baskets for Alison's wonderful DVD. We've launched it today. It's just £4.95. I'll give you a proper recap in just a tickle. Right now, I'm going to give to you this one actually this goes so well with the last kit oh look I seem to have accidentally worn the ring and the bracelet over here I don't know how that happened whoopsie uh, now these actually would be wonderful in rings wouldn't they so if you did buy the last kit I would absolutely get this one as well I am thinking that these will be wonderful as individual pendants again and I love green and and it's just the yummy isn't it so I ate for breakfast this morning a mint arrow and not just a little bar either I know I found it in the car seat so I had to eat it now <laughs> it was a whole one it's even worse, isn't it? Now, I have got for you that wonderful contrast here in the gemstone because you've got the dramatics of the black and the dramatics of the green. And it's that wonderful sort of definition between the two colors that I love. Actually, that one's purely green look in the center. What are these gonna be for you? Are they going to be something you wire wrap with? Are they going to be the gemstone in a big cocktail ring? Are they gonna make Christmas decorations? Gem, what would you do with these? I, I mean, you've had ones similar to this, haven't you, in Fuchsia? Yeah, I have. And they, they make great, um, they're great on rosary links with chunky wire. No, oh, what, on a necklace yeah. or a bracelet? Uh, necklace, um, sort of great in asymmetric designs because they're sort of slightly edgy, a bit quirky, aren't they? Yeah. Single stone rings, it's endless what you can do with those. So get them in your stash if you want that big chunky gemstone. I think people are buying big chunky gemstones at the moment because of we're wearing cut we're wearing coats we're wearing roll necks we're wearing big boots you know mm. you can't wear little delicate jewelry if you've got I love winter clothes I love winter jewelry I love all the chunky stuff. I do, and I always, always, always think the chunkier your bracelet, the skinnier your wrist looks. Yeah. That's my policy. So just wear as much chunky stuff as you can. N O G P seventy two is your item code. Now these are big on the variant. They range between fourteen by thirteen all the way up to eighteen by sixteen millimeters. You've got a big carrot weight, five hundred and fifty carats. So I'm going to count them for you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 21, 22 on your strand. You should have, well, I, that's what I've got on mine. You should have the same on yours. Look at the crackles. Look at that colour. It's quite vibrant, actually, isn't it? And what's it going to go with in your stash? Definitely with gold wire. Definitely with the black wire. What colour wire would you use with yours, Gem? Silver? Yeah, or even um, copper, I think, with green. I like to put copper <gasps> colours with green. You love the copper wire. I do. And do you know, I saw a Wall of Fame entry a couple of days ago when I was watching a show, and she had um, carnelian in with the teals. It was actually appetite, but I'm just thinking a, a rich orange in there would, would be nice. It, you know, green and orange look wonderful yeah. together, don't they? Yeah. I think green goes with everything because it's the colour of nature, isn't it? So come and grab this and get it in your life. NOG P17 with that money back guarantee if you're do you know what now is the greatest time if you're looking at these and thinking I've never had anything that chunky get it now I think it's always a good time to shop with a jewelry maker because we always give you great prices but right now it's pretty much risk free you have got until next year 2014 January 13th 31st in which to send it back 
we are extending your money back guarantee so now i think is the very best time to buy with us here especially when you're risk taking this isn't a risk look at the price tag they're only five nine huge carrot weight loads of them big impact tiny tiny price tag these are a genuine gemstone i know i know you've shopped elsewhere maybe flicked across the channels once or twice seen someone else crafty selling another gemstone for a lot more perhaps you have i don't know five pounds and 95 pence this is an absolute treat it's definitely a special treat for you uh, at 5.95 check out baskets these prices are mad at the moment what's going on Last week, we've gone mad. Oh, 800, 6, 4, 4, 6, 5. You could macrame these, couldn't you? Whatever you do, please don't forget us because we love to see the journey of the gemstone. We know all about where it's been mined from. We know all about where it's been faceted. We give it to you. Don't leave us short. We want to complete the cycle. Send us in your completed jewellery pictures to studio at jewellerymaker.com and then your piece will be displayed on the wall of fame and that's exactly where we're going right now. <coughs> Isn't that Sheila demonstrated this the other day? Lovely. Oh, very nice. I think you guys are amazing. From TJ, uh, Terry James, Miss Terry James, who says, Hi everyone, this is my first wire. Oh, Terry, this is not your first wire work next. I don't believe you. Uh, but, I mean, I never did anything like this. It's madness. Yeah. It's all about the tutorials, isn't it? it is, maybe. It is. Sheila was great up doing this one the other day. Sheila did this, did she, yeah, the other I'm day? Sure it was Sheila. She's fabulous. Yeah. She thought she would add a first entry to the Wall of Fame for this piece. Oh my gosh, the first entry as well. She's amazing. Uh, jewelry maker was recommended to me in September as an alternative craft. The magpie in me just loved to order the gems. I always watched uh, Le Laura Binding. Making notes as wire work fascinated me and I watched the first DVD. However, last week I watched the Sheila demo, are you all right, and everything just clicked. I was possessed but my stash only had copper wire and lapis lazuli. I think it's gorgeous. Plain rondelles as a contrast and I did not move and I became focused until I had finished. The original was gold wire, black gems and a pendant. I didn't have enough wire for a pendant but thanks to Laura I made my own hook, clasp and chain from my wire stash. I do hope I'm successful enough to be shown and it would be great to win as I'm hooked and I've just spent loads. Eek! I'm going to be in trouble. Uh, thanks to all. You can talk yourself out of it Terry when you make things like this can't you surely number 93 you are an amazing jewelry maker well Beautiful. done oh she's fabulous I have <gasps> number 96 and I love chain mail wonderful chain mail and it's from Sam Willow she says what a lovely surname I've attached a picture um, of my first and second attempt at chain mail <gasps> four in one weave and um, the silver bracelet was completed wow. in a workshop and is sterling silver. The coloured bracelet is using 5mm aluminium jump rings from JM. I have a big stash of jump rings from JM, so I will be trying different colour combos and weaves. Many thanks from Sam Willow. Fantastic. It's a very good Gorgeous. first attempt, isn't Absolutely. it? Beautiful. I've got something that is so amazing, so amazing, that I can't, I can't even get over it. Gorgeous. It's, that's not even beads, that's... It's, mac it's macrame style. Wow. You better show Amazing. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just like <laughs> trying to work out how how Christina even did this. Look at this butterfly. I'm absolutely mind this is Beautiful. mind blowing. It is. It is. Look at the detail. Even in the shading of the flat. This is just amazing. Have you seen this, Kim? It's crazy. Whew. Christina says, hi everyone at JM. This is my entry for this week's Hall of Fame. It's Micro Macrame. Uh, now I'm obsessed with Micro Macrame and hopefully Mark will get to show it on the afternoon yeah. show. It's a monarch butterfly made with the uh, really thin nylon thread on the spools. I then put a hair clip on it to make it into a hairpiece. I hope you like it and good luck to everyone. Kindly, Christina from Leeds. Christina, 
and you're on CSL Designs on Facebook. That I'm going to go and check that out after the show. It's taken such a lot of work. I, I think that is unbelievable. You think about where else you could put that. Yeah. Micro macrame. It's the way forward, isn't it? That's lovely. Right. <gasps> Sewn onto a dress. Yes. A dress. Yeah. Lovely. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> Number 94 is from Jenny, uh, Jeannie Kennedy. She says, That's Attached is my entry to the wall. The bangle and earrings are made from antique bronze wire and findings, plus assorted quartz beads, with three beads from my sash for the centre of the bangle. Um, enjoying the new afternoon show with lots of new ideas. And kind reg regards to all the team from Jeannie Kennedy. That is lovely, Jeannie. It's a nice weave in there in the bangle. It's gorgeous, Never isn't it? Met. Never met a genie I didn't like. My aunt is called Genie. <laughs> I wish I met one that came out of a lamp. Oh, yeah. What would you wish for, though? I'd get stuck. More wishes. <laughs> yeah. I'd <laughs> be greedy. I don't know whether you're, that's like you're allowed to do that, Gemma. <laughs> Look at this. It's lovely. No simple. And I really perfection. like this. I think the way it's photographed makes it look like the sun's rising over it. Number 97, very, very, very contemporary. It's from Susan in Kirkbride. And uh, Susan says, Hi all, JM from a whoo, chilly Cumbria. Here is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. It's a pair of earrings inspired by Debbie Bulford. Who, who can fail to be inspired? But do you know why I love these? I've just realised that they remind me a little bit Star Wars-y, the new one. Mm. That's why I love them. Yeah, I know what you mean. Don't they? Yeah. They're amazing. I love them. Now I need them. Everything is from JM, including the gold uh, beads, which I got Nikki. I hope you like them. From Susan Patterson. Mrs. Patterson. I love that. I think that's ace. Well done to you, number 97. Now, if you're wondering, how do I get involved in this fame of wall? Well, I'm going to tell you exactly how to get involved in the fame of wall. Um, now, after the break, we're, we're going to give you that. After the break, I'm going to give you a refresher of Alison's DVD, which is selling out thick and fast. So make sure you're not going anywhere. There's loads more in store for you after this. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. And each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their Jewelry Maker account, and the runner up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com. Or you can post your photos to Wall of Fame, The Genuine Gemstone Company, Unit 2D, Eagle Road, Moon's Moat, Redditch, B989HF. Are you new to jewellery maker? Would you like to try a new hobby? Then why not give us a call on 0800 644 655 and we'll send you a free copy of our DVD and booklet to help you get started. You don't even need to make an order. Get involved with jewellery maker. We all know you need the right tools for the job. So here at Jewelry Maker, we have designed a kit to make sure you have all the essentials to join in with the fun. With round nose, flat nose and wire cutter pliers, as well as a reamer, tweezers and a bead scoop, you've got everything you need in one place for just $9.95. We provide the tools, you provide the skills. There are two easy ways to purchase from Jewelry Maker. You can watch our show on Sky, Virgin, Freeview or Freesat and call our free phone number where you'll be put through to our friendly help team who can place your order. Alternatively, you can go to our website and click the sign up button. Once you have filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the on air now button on the front page. You can also use our quick search tool and narrow down your results. Once you have found an item that you like, you simply click on the buy now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget that you can add as many items to your basket per day for only one P&P. Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. If you have a question or query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call center on 0800 644 655 and press option 2 or alternatively you can email help at jewelrymaker.com
Welcome back. I have got that DVD for you. Now, we don't have loads of these left. You need to act fast. So many of you sharing love for Alison's designs. She is an inspiration not only to us, but to you, to our guest designers. Mind-blowing projects that you can learn from Alison's wonderful wire sculpture DVD. Here are the pieces that you can create if you grab this DVD, the Christmas stocking. The box is the first project. There is, <laughs> don't know where that's gone, it's disappeared, what happened? The box opens. How wonderful would it be to give someone a gift within that box so that opens then you have got the stocking there it is open oh gosh I love that and you can do any variants of colors how detailed that is it's amazing and then you've got the bell and the bell actually goes ding -a -ling, ling which I love it for it actually ding -a -ling lings now if you love here's another example of Alison's work and and it's the bird that we um we this is on a master class if you loved Alison's Masterclass for the birdie, and so many of you did, grab the DVD, because the bird was just a taster. When you get the DVD, oh my gosh, you're gonna want more and more and more. Alison's DVD for the first time ever being launched now. You need to grab this, you need to check out baskets. We have already sold lots of these this morning at nine o'clock, brand new today. Four. 95 is all you're paying for four. You actually get to learn the scroll technique as well. So you, you get four different projects on the one DVD. You get the scroll technique, and then with that, you, you start to learn about the box, the stocking, and the bell. Now, Alison talks you step by step. We don't have the pleasure of grabbing Alison on air as often as we like. She has so many commitments. She simply cannot come on to air all the time. And so we are enjoying so very much. I've never met her, and I said this to Kim this morning, I need to meet this lady. I need to, they're keeping me away from her because they think I'm gonna be like, ah, I need this, I need this, I need that. You love her, don't you? I've never met her, I think she's amazing. Now Gemma, you're also inspired, you told me earlier, by Alison. Is it even for you, uh, opening your eyes and giving you more techniques? Yeah, definitely, especially um, how she takes things from, from sort of 2D to into 3D and shows how simple that can be. You, you know, just might not have thought of doing it like that. So I, yeah, I love that about Alison's work. Because obviously, normally we're working on the flat, yeah, and yeah. then she's making things pop out. She's like the bird here, and she's yeah. showing us how to attach everything. Just look, and then obviously, one mil game, gauge for the frame, and the smaller gauge for the detail. I reckon that's 0 0.4 for the detail. And we're gonna give you wire today so that you can work alongside and we're gonna start with the antique bronze, which is, bronze and copper are the ones that Gemma works with, I think, the most. Yeah. Would that be a fair comment? Yeah. yeah, I think that is a fair comment. Now, have, what, what have you done your ring in? Can I have a look at that? Uh, this is antique bronze. So that's what I've got now. So I'm just gonna borrow that from that's you, Gemma. That's a one and a, and a point four. That's a one and a point four. So I've yeah. got here, thank you, the one and the point four. Yay. What a coincidence, Gemma. <laughs> now. <laughs> Oh, hey up. You're amazing. This that's is Gemma's been, ring. That's been on my finger for a long, long time. It's a bit, it's well worn. <laughs> but it just goes to show how long it lasts, doesn't yeah. it? Have a look. So this is the, this is Gemma's ring that I'm wearing. Isn't that wonderful? She's fantastic. Isn't that cool? So that's exactly the same gauges of wire that's created Gemma's ring. So you have got the one mil. I love this because it looks so antique. Well, obviously it's called antique bronze. It looks really vintage. That's something that appeals to you a lot, isn't it, Gemma? Yeah, it is. I love that look. Love that look. It's so in. And do you know what? It's been in for a long time. The steampunk thing launched a couple of years ago now, didn't it? Yeah, it did. And I thought, you know what? 
I love the shabby chic. It started with shabby chic, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Sort of evolved into steampunk. Mm. And I thought, when I first heard of steampunk, I thought it was actually punk. Yeah. But it, it isn't. I don't know why it's called steampunk. No, it's like new age Victorian, isn't it? It's yeah. Like, it's like revolution. It's, yeah. Yeah. It's lovely. I love steampunk. I think, uh, me too, it's one of my favourite things. And, and, and having researched all different crafts, I see that it does just expand, not just, it's not just jewellery, all over. The, the, the shabby chic uh, and steampunk sort of cushions and needlework and cards and whatever, you're doing it. And this is a great way. And again, I do think because you do tend to fusion lots of different crafts, and I haven't seen wire out there on any other of the uh, crafty shows or the crafty I've seen it in the craft shops yeah I haven't seen it in any of the crafty shows that are on TV no so if you are again if you are working hand in hand with other crafts then this is a great one for you to fusion those crafts with now I'm gonna give you a deal by buying two today you're gonna make a big saving these should be so much more than the price tag I'm going to give you. Now the one mil creates rings but it will also make your findings, it will also make so many amazing projects. If yesterday you bought, there it is Mikey, thank you, Mikey's just giving me some stuff and can I have that pink one down there please, thank you. If yesterday you bought Rachel Norris's DVD Here's the, is this you or Rachel, this one? That's Rachel. I thought yeah. it was Rachel. Have a look. Because Rachel's made the dragonfly out of antique bronze, the same wire. But now Rachel also makes her findings, which I'm just going to drop down now. So there's the finding that Rachel makes as well. And there's the hook. I mean, antique bronze is, is the choice of so many of our guest designers. And if you want to make this exact piece of jewellery, you'll need antique bronze wire but it also looks wonderful with any other colors that you've got and actually have a look at the contrast here because I've got pink and antique bronze and then I've got in the next piece of jewelry I've got antique bronze mixed with some bright colors it's a totally different look and that's what I like about this antique bronze is that you can get loads of different looks I mean it doesn't have to be steampunky because this is quite contemporary isn't it so it doesn't have to be steampunky it can be classic it can be vintage it can be it can be more contemporary more modern of course you can make the wire work bird you could make one in gold one in antique bronze one in silver it would be really nice actually to have that option i mean because the go i mean these two wires look wonderful together don't you so you've got the right wires to do that you've got the right wires to do Gemma's ring you've got the right wires to create structure and create detail here so so many projects that you might already have been thinking about doing this will cover now this wire is heavy mind you it's heavier than a pair of shoes that I paid eight pounds for delivery <laughs> for last week what is that about now it is heavy we're only going to charge you two pounds and ninety five pence for your whole package even if you decide to add to that package throughout the day you won't need to pay any extra p and p we're going to give you an excellent deal you should be paying 43 pounds for these two oh my gosh it's 27.95 for the one on its own and 14.95 for the point four on its own we're going to give you an amazing deal we're going to give you a 10 pounds discount by shopping with us this morning you get your antique bronze wire for just 34 pounds Gem, could you live without your wire no do you use it in everything that you yeah, do yeah pretty much even if it's just to make my findings or just to add um a gizmo coil to hang a pendant on space my gemstones out yeah yeah i use it pretty much in everything it's it's my signature i suppose to use wire and it's, it's what's made you the jewellery maker that you are today, isn't it? Yeah, I think it just offers you more versatility. You know, you don't have to be limited by... Your, ima your imagination doesn't have to be limited. You can stretch your gemstones further yeah. as well. You can, you can. Just using one gemstone and then a lot of elaboration with the wire work means that uh, you can perhaps help to 
minimize the spending that you're doing on every piece and hopefully yeah. increase profits for you Definitely. if you're selling a jewelry on like Gemma does maybe you're having a once a year an, an annual sale like Gemma does Gem did hers at her mum's last Friday BYG C17 is your item code don't forget you're getting 0.4 and the one mil here well done to all that have got those don't forget to add the DVD to your order as well I saw on Facebook yesterday you were putting your I, uh, my name is and I am a jewellery maker junkie in all of the DVDs there. Now we're going to go to number two. Let's do, oh I love this. And again, so we got Gemma Crow's two favourite colours here. This one to me, every time we talk about um, doing wire work, oh I'd have that in rose gold. Um, it looks very similar I think and so many others think to rose gold, doesn't it? This is amazing. And actually I've got a fusion if I can just get Amelia to pass it to me, I've got a fusion of the two wires. That one there, babes, just on the end, very, very end. Thank you, my darling. Uh, now, if you just bought the antique bronze, I want to show you how amazing the antique bronze and the copper look together. They're wonderful. Who did this one then? That's me. That's a crow. That's a crow now, you fusion these two wires together. Yeah. Talk to me about what, what um, caused that decision. But they just they work so beautifully together because you have got those red tones in the antique bronze but it does sort of slightly tone it down i know um debbie bolford talks a lot about ecru using ecru yes. as a mixer to sort of tone your colors down and make everything sort of blend and i think the antique bronze does that with every color so it's your ecru really yeah it is it's your ecru it's your mixer that that brings everything slightly subtle makes everything slightly more subtle but it just works, it just works. Yeah. So this is a, a wonderful Gemma Crow creation using those two. I am gonna give you a very similar deal. Now you are gonna get the one mil and you are gonna get the 0.4. So your structure, again, and your weaving wire as well. If you bought Laura Binding's Cuff and Bangle DVD on Saturday, was it Saturday? When did we launch that? Friday, I think. Fr I think it was Friday. One day just blends into another here because it's all madness. Um, you think it was Thursday? Sometime last week. <laughs> if you did, it was Thursday, was it? Oh, crikey. If you bought that, you're going to want as much wire as you can. If you bought Rachel Norris's DVD yesterday, you're going to need wire. If you are buying today the wonderful Alison's Wire Sculpture DVD, you're going to need as much wire. And you know what? Lock your doors, turn off your phones, because you're going to be busy for a while. It'll be like Santa's Grotto in your house. DQG C52, you can lose hours doing wire. All of this for just £34.95. So making a £10 saving by coming shopping with us today. £27.95 for the one mil. £14.95 for the 0.4 ordinarily. But today you're paying just £34 by buying both. Together is our gift to you for coming shopping with us here today at Jewelry Maker. Now I'm going to give to you. Right, if you need, need to make the birdie, then I've got the gold wire for you. If you want this exact same birdie, uh, of course, the bell or the box, they both have the, uh, the gold in them as well. What's the stocking made out of? Red and what? Isn't that gold as well? It's red and silver. You could do it in any. You could do red and gold. You could do red. And, we haven't got green wire, have we? We've only got the really bright green wire. Oxbury. It has got gold in its stocking. If you want to create, just like Alison did. Oh, it's got gold and silver, has it? Oh, that's lovely. It's silver thick wire, gold detail wire and the bell is all gold. Isn't that wonderful? Now, I'm gonna give you the gold wire. So you've got the one mil, but you've got the 0 0.25 now. So if you really wanna get weaving, if you really wanna get intricate, or if you wanna work with pearls, it's, that, it's the gold that you need. Now, we're gonna give you an excellent, excellent deal. By buying these two, you're going to make a big, saving today you should be paying 40 pounds 
We're going to give it to you, the lowest price yet, for £32. I love Voya so much. And it does make your gemstones go further and it does give you more scope for your designs. We have got the, the biggest wire stock we've had in a long time at the moment, which is the only reason we're allowed to keep doing wire deals. Why don't we just save it? Because we're girls, we like to, uh, we can't, we don't know, we don't work in saving, do we? No. 32, well, I don't. I wish I did, but we don't, we don't. We're just like everything or nothing, aren't we? 32 pounds, uh, 32 pounds straight, not 95 pence. Now I'm going to move on, I'm going to give to you the silver. We, now, silver is our lowest stock. I've got loads of gorgeous pieces of jewellery with silver, actually. Amelia, I am sorry, but could you pass me the silver jewellery, duck? There's loads there, and that big one at the top. Who did that? That's amazing. Wow, who did this? Isn't that fab? Do you know who did that? No, I don't know. That is lovely. We're not sure. <coughs> Isn't that great? Oh, it was Debbie. See, and Debbie d always tells me she doesn't do a lot of wire work. Which Debbie? Debbie Kershaw or Balford? Debbie Balford's brilliant at wire work. See? Debbie Balford's brilliant at everything. She was telling me a <laughs> fib. She is great at it. Yeah, she is. Here's a Rachel Norris. I mean, come on, I gave you the DVD yesterday, so you're all going to be wanting the silver wire. Here's another Rachel Norris piece for you with the leaves. Also, Karen Crawford is amazing, isn't she? If you love Karen's designs. And I did have a look yesterday. She's got the most amazing beaded necklace. Did you see that? Yeah, it's one that's resurfaced. It was, it's like an Egyptian style one. That's it? right, yeah. It's just beautiful. And it's all about beading at the moment, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, gorgeous. Beading is coming back with a bang. Now, you've got your one mil and you've got your 0 0.25. So if you want to, again, create structure with the little intricate, be especially if you want to use pearls, because 1.25 will go through the drill holes of the pearl. I, I love the silver. The silver is our most popular color. It's the one that sells out the most. Now, let me tell you about the makeup of our wire. It's copper that's e-coated. Well, everything's e-coated everything's e afterwards, but it's copper that then has an overlay of 925 sterling silver. <coughs> You've got 100 metres of it. You've got to appreciate there's a lot of genuine silver in this wire as well. Then the e-coating goes over the top. E-coating will protect from tarnishing. Now, somebody said to me yesterday, they're really frightened. They put this on, on Facebook. Jenny, I'm frightened of using wire because I'm worried that it's going to tarnish coloured wire. I'm really worried, and so I won't use it. Gemma, you use coloured wire a lot, so what would you say to anyone out there? I'm so sorry, I can't remember. It could have been Sylvia that put it on there, but I can't remember for sure. Um, what would you say to anybody out there that says to you, I, I can't work with, with coloured wire, any wire, mm. because I'm worried that the colour will tarnish and come off and I've wasted my money? Right. I can say, hand on heart, I've had no problems whatsoever with um, any of my, co my coloured wires from here tarnishing. That's never been an issue. The only problem some people find is that the colour will come off when they work it, overwork it. Um, and you can avoid that by taping your pliers. And um, when you work with your pliers, use a PTFE tape or like a, plum like a plumber's tape okay. or electrician's tape or even um, masking tape to avoid that. What about buying our nylon coated pliers as well? Nylon coated pliers would definitely help that as well. And also practice, you know, it, it will help. It, just getting used to how it works. But tarnishing, never. The only things I've had problems with um, tarnishing is raw copper wire, which we don't sell, and um, sterling silver sometimes will tarnish by its nature. So, but that you just rub off with your fingers. That tarnish comes off with fingers or a polished cloth. So do not worry to anyone, because that has actually stopped a jewellery maker yesterday yeah. from buying wire. No, don't worry. It's, it's actually got a very fine um, coating on it as well. I know because I've tried to, um, recently I've tried to patina our wire to see if it works, but it's so well coated, it won't even, the metal beneath the coating won't even go even when it's put in an acid. So, so you want to oxidise yeah. your own yeah, and it, so won't it won't do it? No, because it's, it's got such a strong coating. Ah, so oh, well, the e-coating sure. protects it so well that yeah. if you do want to use your verdigris and things, it, it's probably not going to work so no, well. No, if, no, you can't use Actually, that. that's a backup then. Re yeah. I mean, that assures me. Yeah. You should be paying £40 for this. So for anyone who's worried about tarnishing of wire, Gemma's just said she's tried to tarnish it purposely yeah. and it wasn't happening <laughs> it for her. It won't go. 
PAG C12, 32 pounds. You've got your one mil and you've got your 0.25. Please don't worry about charging and please remember we give you a um, money back guarantee. Now, if you love Gemma's calf, you can create this look with the wire that you've got in here. Just recreate it. Little, it'll be a little bit thinner because you've got 1.25 wire. It is gorgeous, isn't it? I'm gonna ha I don't want to take it off ever. I love it. No. Uh, you might have to cut my wrist off, Claire. Now, I'm gonna cut, literally, I'm surrounded. Now, let's give to you. She's getting her snippers. What are you doing? Get your wire cutters out. <laughs> oh no, secateurs, secateur. No, no, I don't get a say. I don't get to take it home. That you, <laughs> you're all fighting over it. What if I want it? Oh yeah, that's that is a point. Yeah. That's a point, Claire. Claire, you're so selfish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, my darling. <laughs> now I'm going to give to you. Yeah, I suppose she's got a point, really. Yeah. You don't want to fight her either. She's from Gloucester. That's right. Now. <laughs> <laughs> And now Claire's saying she doesn't care what we say, she's taking it home. That's the way she rolls. Now have a look. <laughs> have a look at these drops. And again, these are they're their shell. I've never seen shell so plump. Have you ever seen shell? This it's these are big for shell, aren't they? Do you know they're wonderfully lightweight? Aren't they gorgeous? What a gorgeous colour. Now, these are going to make really easy flowers, and for anyone who doesn't know how to do this, I know you all do. Well, not, not all of you, because if, if you are new to Jewelry Maker, you won't know, but it's really easy. And you know what? It's one of the techniques that you do, and you think, I can't believe I just did that, and it looks good. That's how I feel about it. You get five of these, or seven. Always got to be an odd number. And you run, run your monofilament through there or you can do really you could do your beading wire if you want to through there bring that together into a circle and knot it and they will automatically form a flower now what i like about these ones in particular is the ends aren't pointed not many strands like this jewelry makers as you'll know they're not pointed at the ends they are blunt at the ends blunt is that what i mean yeah Right, so Gem, with that in mind, does that now open up a little bit more of a window of opportunity as far as the design is concerned? Um, it, it means that you can sit a nice gemstone snugly in the centre of the flower if you're making a flower. It also means that if you're doing the fan design, that yeah. I, I know I've demoed quite a few times, a little bead would sit nicely on the top of that. Like a little CD? Yeah, as like a centre for a circle if you're making a circle with the fan. So yeah, also a little, if you're putting it on your, as a drop earring, a little bead would sit nicely rather than having a point that you could, you know, um, pivot it, on. It yeah. sit nice on there. What about bows as well? Yeah, bows. So they fit really nicely together. Which, uh, do you know, and it's silly because it's just something that I tended, to, I just noticed. Kim just went, wings in my ear. <laughs> You're making wings out of these, Kim. Kim's making wings. Now, what a lovely snow white as well. Winter whites are really important. I actually don't think white's the first colour you think about when you think about winter, but I do think it's very important because we see the snow drops coming out now. Mm. We see the, um, of course, the snow, which apparently we're going to get next week, aren't we? Yes, yeah. Where's it coming? Everywhere. Hailstones tomorrow. I do like a hailstone. I like the, I like the sound of them. Mm. Now, <laughs> are we going to really get snow, do you think? I hope not. It's not cold enough. Snow whites, gorgeous plump drops. These are definitely the plumpest shell I've seen. I like that word. Plump. LGG P61 is your item code. These are top drilled shell and they're 16 by 10 there's no graduation they're all uniform you don't get Gemma's bracelet with this you could make little daisies couldn't you with little oh my gosh lovely yellow CD bead centers they're only 6.95 I'm gonna count them oh that's a brilliant price tag 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 1 2 3 25 on my strand you should have there or thereabouts on yours if you're thinking about getting Gemma's 
challenge today and you want some more drops to make them go further because these are going to be more of a high-end bundle I mean with the aquamarine it is so wintry isn't it oh that's making me have goosebumps they're coming I've got the goozle bumps no you have got taking the wrong way, one away there. You've got opportunities still remaining. Make sure you're on the phone for these. Still a little bit of stock left. Uh, don't forget if you've got the DVD to keep adding things to your order because we're not going to be charging you any more than that one PMP all day long. <laughs> White shell, absolutely fantastic. Now made little darlings. Don't forget to text us in six zero triple seven James Studio followed by your message. I just sent Claire in the break my um, Christmas card that we did at home. And I don't know if, if you've got it yet, but I'll try and show it to you a bit later on. We basically all had photograph taken, the family photograph taken in front of the fire, and the kids' faces are like this. Apart from Oliver, who's young, so he's excited. Like, my kids are like, what are you making me do? My, my daughter's 12, and she's like, oh. No, I mean, be so embarrassed by that. She was, she was pretty much OK with it in the end, <laughs> but... I did bribe her, of course, with chocolate. I said, come on, do it for mummy. There's not going to be many opportunities, is there, to do that? We all had our Christmas jumpers on in front of the fire. It did take two hours for Clarky to set the, um, to set the camera exactly as he wanted it, because he's completely has to have things in a certain way. So that took a long time. Now, and by the time the photograph, we'd all had a big family argument like you would do. <laughs> Just hurry up. Now, the next <laughs> kit I'm going to give you I absolutely think this strand, and I don't know why, but if you've ever seen Harry Potter when they walk into the bank, I don't know why, Green but, it, but it reminds me of that. Yeah. Why is it? I think it's the floor, isn't it? I is it the floor? And it's rich and sort of... It's like a grand hall's floor. Yeah, what's yeah. it called? Gringotts? Gringotts, yeah. The bank, <laughs> that's what it reminds me of in Harry Potter. I love these. I think they're ace. I think they're... Printed shell is always really popular. It's, but it's so different as well to anyone, any printed shell I've ever seen. I don't know where Lady Ox is getting these. Soon to be Lady Cleary, because she's, uh, she's, you know, she might be related to me sooner or later. She is being, not me, she's totally after my brother, yeah. Now, I'm on to it, Hannah Roxbury. Now, these are... Imagine that. I told her she'd ask to breed if she's going to get with my brother because I want nieces and nephews. She, she's coming round to the idea. 0 0.8. <laughs> 0 0.8 wire you're getting with this kit. You're about to see some more incredible Lady Crow designs. Now, Gemma Crow um, actually was one of the first designers that went for our bright orange gemstones because it works so well with needle felt. Now, I'm looking at this kit, Gemma, and I'm actually thinking, you know what? This kit's going to be awesome with needle felt and I have got the I have got the DVD so I'm going really glossy today I have got the DVD for you a little bit later with the needle felt um, I think what do you reckon Jim do you think this would be a good one with needle felt yeah, the uh, yeah the bright co colors because it's usually a fun design with the needle felting isn't it yeah um, yeah so they definitely working with that I love the sparkle off the blue quartz. Like we, again, we had a lovely lady on yesterday on the Sunday experience, and she fell in love with the blue. It was a little bit smaller than this, made something yeah. amazing, which is on the Facebook page, by the way. The printed shell, the green got printed shell. Now, these chocolate shell pearl at the moment, I am loving. And again, if you're being inspired by so many designers out there at the moment doing really intricate beadwork, then use the shell, because if you want the look of pearl, it is made up of real pearls, by the way, because it's not faux pearl. If you want that look of pearl, but you want to do lots of intricacy, you'll know that often it's really difficult to get anything through those pearls. I mean, you can get an, a needle and thread probably through the pearls anyway, but I just think if you want that intricacy, if you want that little bead, then you've got it in this kit as well. Another great one to sue Tash because you've got the pendant and you've got the round. So this is very, this, this is very mixed medium, this kit, actually. I think there's a lot you could do. The goddess bracelet would look great because you've got rounds. 
I think, as I said, the soutache, I think it's going to be great with needle felt. I also think if you've got all these wonderful colours with your polymer clay, that would look fabulous. Wire work, of course, is going to suit this. So if you are looking for a kit that is going to suit all the different mediums, maybe you're having little taster sessions of all the different mediums, we should do that, a little taster session day shouldn't we where we nice. we learn we get lots of different lots of different designs in and you get to have a taster session of each I'm gonna I hope the ox is watching the ox phone will go in a minute now you get don't forget the, the the gold wire but you also get gold findings with this kit as well with oh sorry Claire's just trying to get them up oh well I got the wrong ones in my mind as well because stop everything Gemma Crow, you've got sterling silver mm -hmm. with nine carat gold plated. Again, that it's that heart chain. I'm obsessed with this heart chain at the moment. Do you know, we have we haven't been giving everybody opportunities to get so many um sterling silver and, and real gold findings and whatnot. But lately, the last week or so, we're reintroducing kits with precious metals and you're loving it yeah. you've got the chain you've got the head pins two pairs of shepherd that toggle clasp is amazing and it's really weighty you have got the lobster claw clasp the crimpies crimpy covers and the open jump rings now it's such a treat the findings are 14.95 on their own it's called get retro lpg c10 is your item code that's l PG C10 C10 is a limited edition. You should be paying over forty pounds for this kit. Don't forget the fourteen ninety five findings. Limited edition. I know it's going to sell out as soon as you. Oh, Kim, not again. Nineteen pounds and ninety five pence. Un. Believable. You're buying the findings, getting everything else for five pounds. Give you got wire in here. You're basically buying the findings and the wire and getting the gemstones for free, aren't you? Because what's that wire? 0.8, four nine. Yeah. So you're buying the findings and the wire, and you're getting everything else for free. She's as mad as a fish in a kettle. Nine pounds <laughs> and ninety-five pence. LPG C10 is your item code. Now there are lots and lots and lots of you on the phone lines. We love your company. Let's go over and see Lady Crow's jewellery. And I can't promise that I'm not going to be further embellished this morning. I'm going to be like walking out of here, heavy, heavy with wire work, Gemma Crow pieces. I'm not. It's all going to go on the website. I'm only joking. I wish I could take it, but I'm not allowed. <gasps> love. Cufflinks love. See, they they are the perfect cufflink that, strand, yeah, aren't they? they? Are. They're great. And if you you know if you can get some, you can buy type in um, findings. You can make your own if you like, but you can you can buy type in findings, and they're great for your little matching set. If you just use a bit of glue to pop those on. We need to get those type in findings, don't yeah. we? Yeah. That would be nice on my brother's uh, wedding suit to Lady Oxbury, yeah, won't it? Yeah. Doesn't know about any of this. It's in Japan at the moment. <laughs> I was going to say, this is news. <laughs> I know it's, it's going to happen. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> she better be really nice to me. It'll kill her. It's not going to happen. Have a look. <laughs> These earrings are amazing. They're very Egyptian, aren't they? Yeah, and they're very in right now. That's right on trend, isn't it? Especially the orange. You know, the orange is really in. Yeah, with that well. gold. Yeah. A little bit of turquoise in there would look gorgeous Words as well. Words, yeah. Have you yeah. been to the V&A to see the pearls through the ages? No. You need to go. I've been to the V&A for ages. Let's go, and Gem. I'll meet you there. Because yeah. Hannah Oxbury and Natalia are going. Are they? Yeah, we should all go. Let's yeah. do a little coach trip, like yeah. at school. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's do that. Definitely. Now, I love what you've done here. And it's, again, very Egyptian. Do mm. you feel like this kit was taking you down that path, the Egyptian route? Mm, yeah, I think I was also... Um, inspired this week Karen by Karen Crawford and her Egyptian piece you mentioned it earlier it's just one of those things that so outstanding it just stays in your mind isn't it so I think maybe a bit inspired by Karen this week so thanks Karen for that well Gemma I saw that and I just thought yeah because I've been because I've been sort of going around to uh, local places lately that are doing yeah. beading and stuff and I did see a uh, beading is just coming back with I mean, it's been sort of washed out mm. a bit by wire and it's come back with a kick. Yeah. And my goodness me, I am seeing, 
Beading now is happening. It's all about bead looming and bead fine, weaving fine. and fine beads peyote. with a needle. Peyote. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I am blown away. Karen Crawford is inspiring us all at the moment. Go mm. on her face. Unfortunately, she can't come in um, at the moment because her mum's poorly. Um, we, and we wish her every luck in the world. The lady is amazing. Mm. And uh, if you would like to go and check out Karen's pieces, please go and visit her website, her web, uh, Facebook page. Yeah. She will be coming in hopefully to do masterclasses. Mm -hmm. um, now, you, so you've been inspired very much by Karen Crawford. And um, also The Paradise, which I finally got around to watching. And every character in The Paradise had a little What's ribbon necklace. What's The Paradise? Necklace. I've never even heard of that. It's a, like a department store. I don't even know what age it's set in, but it's, it's a department. It's a film, An old-fashioned department. No, it's a series. Oh. Literally, I've just started watching. Everybody keeps talking about it. So oh, I'm going to start watching They're it. all wearing these um, ribbon necklaces with a pendant on. So that was um, inspired by that one. But just to finish it, there's a few. I've put some tassels Jeez. on the back there. So, so we'll just have a look at that. Your bows are very neat. Now you've taken the you've taken the ribbon out of your uh, organza bag, yeah. haven't you? Yeah. I'm just going to turn that around, Mikey, so that you can see. I love it. So just just because so it's not just ribbon, you know, because so sometimes you your hair if it's up. a bit unfinished, um, you have a bit of weight there as well. And actually, that makes it easy for you to tie your bow yeah. up at the back. Yeah. Now this is fabulous. Look, a gizmo coil. Yesterday we gave you the gizmo, so if you've got <laughs> it, here's an idea for you. And a watch style bracelet. That's amazing. Earrings here as well. <laughs> Another necklace. We've seen we've seen the um, the cufflinks, and then we've got a watch style bracelet as well. You've yeah. got an amazing opportunity. It's nice as well because you can split up the sterling silver with you because you've got the gold wire that you can make all your findings with so you can keep all your sterling silver for one really high-end piece if you like so it's nice and versatile this kit. Now you're going to give yeah. us a demo which one are you going to demonstrate? I'm going to show you the cufflinks and how to get those to, to lie nice and flat and make your cufflink your little bars. Okay. Has anyone got sleeves on today? Mikey are you wearing a shirt and tie? No. I'm Why not? It's Christmas time. I'm wearing a jumper. Now, you thought it was Vicky Carr today, so you should have been suited and tied up. <laughs> suited oh. and booted. I, I didn't know yeah. you. Not tied up, sorry, but with a tie. <laughs> <laughs> with a tie, suit and tie. Suited and booted is what I meant, Kim. Not tied up. Oh, oh. Kim. It's it's Kim, nice you know what she's like. There was a day she wanted you to come in and see. There was a day she wanted you to come yeah, in and see. some kind of event. I can't remember if it's the <laughs> <day>. <laughs> Oh, it's a little so, black dress show. Um, Have you got a little black dress? Because I'm happy to lend you one, Mikey. Little cocktail dress. Yeah. Little cocktail piece. Yeah, that's it. Backless, <laughs> some detail. Got any? You haven't got any tattoos, though, have you? I have. Yeah. You have. Oh no! Don't tell Jenny Cleary this. Let's not even go there, Mikey, because I'll make you get your tats out. <laughs> Where are they? On your leg? Oh no, it's just on my arm. Sorry. Oh fine. Where are yours? I haven't got any. I wouldn't tell I you. Don't I did. <laughs> I wouldn't tell you. <laughs> He's looking. I do have clothes on. <laughs> Completely <Yeah>. covered. <laughs> no, you're not. It's like news readers. They just they just wear clothes up to here. Uh, right. Okay. So I'm going to make a cuffling, and I'm going to show you how to make these lie flat. Um, so I've taken a, a length of wire. I've got about ten centimeters here. I'm just thread it through um, the shell, and then fold them. Take it to the centre, give yourself plenty to work with. Fold them over, one over the other, so that they're lying nice and flat. And give it a good squidge, okay? Then roughly around the centre, as central as, as possible, pop your thumb on or your finger and pull one wire up so it's pointing straight up. And then do the same on the other side. One wire up, okay? And then one of these wires is going to wrap just a couple of times around the sticky uppy one. So let's just do that. Try and keep it nice and flush. Okay. That was quite easy actually, Gem. Yeah, so that's that's your first bit uh, there. And again, use that ratchet technique that I've showed you before to keep it nice and tight. The lorry so ratchet. Lorry ratchet up and down, that will keep it nice and tight for you. Okay. And then this with this end I'm gonna make just a, a loop. I'm not going to close it because I might want to open and close it to um, pop on my jump rings and things like that. 
So all you do then is, like we usually do for a, for a loop, you just bend it um, over, so it's like a 45 degree angle, pop your pliers in, and then bring your wire around the pliers to make a loop. Now you can trim this first if you're confident that you know how much wire you're going to need to make this loop, but if not, make the loop and then trim it off after. There's nothing worse, because I'd keep it long, because because there's nothing worse than having to undo it, is there? I mean, it's not the end of the world. There is no. worse things, actually. That's, yeah, it's not the end of the world. It's but just, it does make it neater. Once you, it does make it neater if you cut it first. Um, but I think, really, it, it's not that much of a difference. So you may as well, especially whilst you're, yeah. when you're starting out, you may as well do it and then cut it after. OK. So I've got a loop, and then you can continue wrapping that tail that we started to wrap with around and trim. So now we have got ready for our, that's our sort of face that, of our That's cuffing. a little button now as well, Jen. It's also a button, that's right, yeah. So there's lots of uses for that. So there's that part. Now to make the little T-bar, there's lots of ways you can do this. And there's um, one way demonstrated on the Findings DVD as well. So if you've got that, you can use that technique. And um, for this one, because I've just got what the wire that's in the kit, and it's a... Um, 0.8 so I'm going to do it slightly differently okay okay so I'm going to take again about 10 to 15 centimeters of our um, 0.8 wire go roughly to the center and we're going to um, fold fold it in half basically and cross them over and then twist about twice okay, okay. So two twists and you can see we've already got that, that t-shape now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in about a centimetre and a half down on one of the sides, fold it over, hold it in my pliers and I'm going to twist that one as well. Oh, just with your fingers? I'm using my fingers. You can use your pliers if you want, but I'm using my fingers. Okay, so there's one side twisted. This is and so much easier than I thought it would be. Go again on the other side, so about a centimetre and a half. Fold it doubled over. This side, can you see last time of my wire, my wire tail ended up on this side. Yeah. Next time I'm gonna try and have my tail end in that side, just just because it'll make it neater when I finish. Okay. Um, and then hold again and twist. Now put as many twists in as you as you like, it's up to you, just so long as it's neat. Now you've got two tails, and what I'd do is take one tail and go around the bar one way. If you've got a nice long tail, you can go all the way up to the end and make it really neat. But if not, it's not necessary. It's just a case of tidying these ends up. And it's just about comfort now, really, because is. this isn't going to be on display, is it? No, no, but you still want it to look attractive. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, of course you do, because you, especially if they're a gift. Yeah. Nice in a nice box, wouldn't they? Yeah. Okay, and then take this tail and go around the other direction. I'm using my fingers again. You can use your pliers if you like. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, I haven't got enough to go all the way to the ends, um, but what I'm going to do is just trim them off now, as tight in as you can get, and then again, use your pliers just to squish in any scraggy ends. All right, and now all we need to do is join these two together with the little jump ring, or because we didn't close that loop, you can open that one up, pop on your little T-bar that you've made, close it back up, and you've got Aren't they cool? a little cufflink. Great no, for any Harry Potter fans. Yeah, great for Harry Potter. It reminds you of the old-fashioned smoking jackets, you know, the silk that's that was in is, the inside. It's, it's that. It's and the, the cravat. What's it called? Yeah, the yeah. cravat. Oh, my yeah. gosh, that's what it is. It's a really, it is a retro print, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's amazing. It's lovely. I really like this kit. I love printed shell anyway. We're like a brandy in the drawing yeah, room. That's, that's what they're it. like, isn't it? Is, it? Yeah. Brandy in the drawing room. Really. Oh, that my. Oh, <laughs> I like that. Like the yeah, older pipe and slippers. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. We're looking for one of them for our. Oh, yeah. For one, yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Now let's go. Kit's got low stock now. Amazing Not value. Surprised. Please don't forget. Thank you so much, Jamie. You're, You're amazing welcome. as always. Please don't forget. You've got sterling silver findings in this. Come on, Michael.
let's go on over here. Uh, now, we have got, come on now, Michael. We have got sterling silver findings in that kit for just £19.95. pence. An absolute treat for you. Now, I'm going to give to you. I would kept saying to you, hearts and stars, biggest sellers and flowers. So what have we done for you? Hot stars and flowers in a bundle. Now these stars you have to have for Christmas if you're doing a nativity. Who was it that was doing Hannah Oxbury? I hope she hasn't forgotten. She's told me that she's doing a nativity. Now um, she's doing a uh, the perspex. Perspex? Do I mean perspex? Oh, yeah, silhouettes. Yeah, nativity we're going to do a little scene. nativity scene. Mm. Now here's your stars. And they're also great for Christmassy pieces. Now, they've got the holes in them, which are great for filling. And we had a Wall of Fame entrant a couple of days ago that said, more gemstones with holes in the centre so I can fill them. Well, I got you an absolute treat in that case. I got the hearts with the holes. Again, so you can fill these in with little seedy beads. I've got the flowers in two colours. Great versatility here. And these are all shell. They're lovely and lightweight. Then I've got, and I think these are really modern, you've got your rounds with the triangles in the centre. So here we go. You have got all this colour, so lightweight, such versatility when we're talking about design. Definitely perfect for Christmas time. You've got the hearts in there for Valentine's Day as well. So you've got one strand of stars. One, two, three, four, five in total. Your triangle, the, the cream um, shell triangle, the, the rounds of the triangles are 20 mil. The five petal flowers are 21 mil. The five petal flowers at 23. The multicolored, sorry, are 21. And the cream are 23. Multicolored hollow hearts are 22 and the stars are 22 as well. So you have got here an opportunity to grab a bundle that's gonna be wonderful for handbag charms, wonderful for key rings, wonderful for pendants, great for your Christmas table, fabulous for your Christmas tree decorations with the stars, maybe the nativity we were talking about earlier. But also if you've got those little seedy beads, if you're making those watch style bracelets and you want to fill up those holes, then you can do it with these. Get yourself involved. Now, Gem, when it comes to gemstones like this, where would you place them in your designs? I think they, they would work exactly in the same ways as I've used them in, used the shell in the last kit. So they make, they add some drama, but no weight which is really nice. So it could be cufflinks again, they it could be, be the, the pendant yeah. again. Yeah, um, but also something I saw Laura do the other day, which I can imagine working with those, is filling the holes with enamel. She did Who a, did that, Laura Binding? Yeah, I'm sure it was. I looked at something she did on a hair comb and it was amazing. I absolutely loved it. And I think she'd filled the hole with enamel really really look cracking I like that idea yeah. enamel they used in ancient times yeah. you know enamel was used a long time ago and I got a piece I got a, a ring that used to belong to the countess of somewhere Ooh. that my grandma gave me really old re gold solid gold and it's a serpent that goes up your finger oh, nice. it's like quite Egyptian looking actually yeah. I don't know where it is it's somewhere in my house my daughter's probably swiped it but you know, enamel is something that, he, uh, that you can really research into. Beautiful pieces of jewellery with enamel on it. Now you should be paying twenty-three. Oh, actually, that's good. That's fine. One, two, three, four, five strands. Twenty-three pounds. Fine. Kim's going to give you a very cheeky deal though for all of this. E M G C forty-two. She sells seashells is the name of the bundle. It's just £14.95. pence. You can make stacks and stacks of jewellery with this. You can make amazing amounts of key rings. You can make so much. What about with the colours? What about the little girls that are in your family or your friend's circle? And or any little girls that you're going to be giving Christmas presents to? They'd love working with this strand. What if you want to get jewellery making with your nieces and nephews over the Christmas time? How fab would that be? Now, one more recap of, of the DVD, because I am going to keep recapping it until it sells out, which I don't think will be long. So, if you want Alison's DVD, I've still got stock. I will not be promising you stock throughout the day. I can tell you there is still stock, limited quantities now of Alison's DVD. If you just tuned in and you thought, hang on a minute, I didn't know they were launching this masterpiece today. We are. Get it in your life. You have got the opportunity to learn from Alison four new techniques that will lead you into creating pieces 
such as this so you've got four different um, four different sections you've got the scroll technique that you learn first then you've got the wire work box which looks like this and it opens did you do this with her Claire was it amazing Claire's just telling me a lot easier than it looks you can do it you can definitely create this Alison, Alison nails it down and she really makes it step by step and she's done this not for intermediate wire workers but for beginners which to me is mind-blowing because there's no way I thought I could just be thrown into the deep water and swim but you can the bell there is your third project and we saw there previously to that the stocking so if you want to be able to create that ready for Christmas you need to get this as soon as you can once it goes out of stock I can't promise we're gonna get it in before Christmas so get it now whilst it's in stock 0800 6 655 is the phone number to be calling it's joymaker.com if you're getting webby with us today just four pounds and 95 pence as I'm sure you knew but with the extended money back guarantee from now until the 31st of January next year this will make a great Christmas gift for anybody that you know that's already really crafty because they can get themselves working with wire and it's just such a fabulous medium to work with it really and truly is and you know what we were inspired so greatly by you having a look at that micro macrame earlier Woof. so many wonderful pieces of jewelry that uh, that we want to wear we, we love to see how you're getting on and that's what we're going to do now let's check out your designs on the wall of fame <coughs> Are you listening? Mm -hmm. You go first, you can do three. That's really? amazing. Okay. All right, I've got number 99. I'm talking of wonderful Alison. There's a, a bird there. This is done by a 19 year old. Wow. Isn't she wonderful? It's done by Chloe Allen. Who's 19? From She's Derby. 19. I think that's where Kaz is from. Mm -hmm. From Derby. She says, Hi everyone at JM. Uh, this week's Wall of Fame entry is my first attempt at Alison's Wirebird. It amazing. took me forever to make as I have um, health problems which affects pretty much all of my body mm, and yes. can make gripping tools difficult. Um, it did give me cramp in my hands but I persevered and although I wish I'd done something different for the wing or tail design, I had been able to make the wire wrapping a bit neater. Um, I'm overall pleased with my first go. I'll definitely be having another go soon. And in the meantime, I think this bird can go on the top of um, mine and my boyfriend's Christmas tree. Christmas, uh, fingers crossed, I'm lucky to win this week so that I can buy lots of new wire and gems. Love to all the team and crew from Chloe Allen. That is absolutely gorgeous. Chloe, I love, there's nothing wrong with the tail. I think it's wonderful. You put pearls in it. What more could you ask for? I hope you've got the DVD today, Chloe, because you'll love it. I think you're fantastic. fantastic. And Definitely to say that she's achieved this yep. and having and, and she's not very well, she's having difficulties that affect her whole body. Yet yeah, she can still produce this is wonderful, really wonderful. wonderful. Have a look at this. I love red and blacks. Yeah. Is that oh no, it's red and and uh, cranberries. It looks amazing. Number one hundred is Jackie from Ascot. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't want to live in Ascot? <laughs> Now, she actually lives in the racing stables, I've decided. Hi there, here is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. It's made with wire, pearls and agate from JM and findings from my stash. I needed a splash of colour to add to the black and white outfit and this set was perfect. I wonder whether you're wearing it to ask, Scott Jackie. I like the way it's a face as well. Did you notice that? <laughs> um, loving the designer showcase and getting heaps of inspiration. Many thanks, Jackie. Jackie, gorgeous. You are number 100. Hope it's lucky for you. It's lovely. Right, I've got number 98. Uh, lots of hearts and the monochrome, which is always a winning combination. Yeah. Morning, JM. I've made this set from the blue china kit that I brought. That I bought. I can't believe the crazy prices that you have here. I've be I have a boot sale in December, and already there's been lots of interest in my jewellery. I will not shop anywhere else for my jewellery making ever. Good luck all, and hope um, I have a win, as I need to win to buy more bits um, from James. James from Southend. Oh, there James, it's so nice to have a chap it's, on board, yeah, isn't it? It is. I lovely. hope he grabs that DVD, one for the chaps. Brilliant. Check this out. That's lovely. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, very Isn't rustic. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? 
really it looks like oh it just it looks so expensive this is from Kim in Misley Kim it's one of yours a little Kimmy dear all my entry for the wall of fame is a pendant made from um, from sunstone and 0.8 copper wire for the frame 0.25 copper wire for the wrapping the color matches so well i used a jig to shape isn't it wonderful isn't the jig fabulous uh, all from jm the best store for gems and products around i love what you're saying there kim thank you so much and uh, fingers crossed to everybody that's entering the wall of fame last wow 101 wow beautiful labradorite and it's from mary mclean in aberdeen she says, here's my wall of fame entry for this week. It's a herringbone style macrame bracelet with labradorite and silver plated copper wire, all from JM. Um, in the three months I discovered jewelry, I've discovered jewelry maker, I've tried many different styles, but this one has had the most positive comments from my friends and family. Thank you so much to Mark for his tutorial on how to create the bracelet. He is always so easy to follow and understand. I think all the designers are so talented and really appreciate the fact that they are willing to share those talents in order to help those of us lesser beings <laughs> increase our skills <laughs> and become silly. so much better. The products from JM also help with this as the quality is so impressive um, and it's hard to create anything terrible. I hope you like my offering this week. Fingers crossed for a win. I could do with a bit of a gem binge. And that's oh, from can Mary. No, that is cracking. Yeah, and thanks Mary for your lovely comments. We all appreciate that. Your 101, yeah. Mary McLean from Marie McLean from Aberdeen. It rhymes. Idea, it rhymes yeah. I like it. I think we might make up a rhyme about you later. Oh, now uh, we have got uh, information on your money back guarantee, which is crazy right now. If you're shopping for Christmas presents, if you're shopping to create uh, for your Christmas uh, craft fair, then we are extending that money back guarantee until the 31st of January. Don't forget our Miss It Miss Out show now is featured on Freeview Channel 50 uh, with tonight. I believe it is Eleanor for you now and who and Scotty and Scotty McBotty now mm -hmm. uh, we will be right back with more goodies another fabulous kit more demonstrations of Jen Gemma Crow who's Jenna Crow and we've got some felt coming up for you after this join us on Jewelry Maker as we count down the days until Christmas Stay tuned to see perfect Christmas gifts for all your friends and family at prices you won't believe. And what's more, anything you buy can be refunded or exchanged until the 31st of January. So for hassle-free shopping and great value, it has to be Jewelry Maker. You can now keep in touch by liking Jewelry Maker UK on Facebook. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Do you need a helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewelry Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewelry making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewelry making techniques. You can now watch clips from Jewelry Maker on our YouTube channel. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Tune into Jewelry Maker for our Miss It Miss Out show every day between 5 and 9 p.m. on Freeview Channel 50. Don't miss it or you'll miss out. You can now keep in touch by following Jewelry Maker on Twitter. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Buying jewellery online from us has just become even easier with our new streamlined checkout service. We've made some little changes to make our website more accessible for all of the different ways you shop online, and now it's even easier using a mobile phone or tablet. Once you have added your items to your shopping basket, you can decide to check out now or save for later. Saving an item for later means you can easily find them in your own time, but don't forget to check back soon as all our items are selling fast. One of just a few changes that will make buying jewellery from us even easier. Now we have got the opportunity for you to grab our starter kit of felt and then we've got the replenishment for you as well. Needle felting, actually Gemma, mm. as you know, within my household we're all crafty. Yeah. 
and I live with, th we, there's three of us that are a bit crafty and we're all competing against each other in the craft world. Okay. Now, I have my other members of the household talking to me, we're, sat at, we're at the dinner table and they're going, oh yeah, needle felting, yep, we're at machine. And I said, what do you mean machine? Mm. Machine? What are you talking about? You don't need a machine. And it was really expensive. Yeah. And I said, well actually, I tried not to say anything because I thought, you know nothing. <laughs> you know nothing, you don't need... Now, our price is amazing, actually. Yeah. Having sat at my dinner table and spoken to my yeah. fellow my fellow family members that are uh, that are in the crafting world as well, I, I learned that needle felting here at Jewelry Maker is very, very affordable. affordable. It is. How come other, other places are, are selling machines to do this? Um, is it a different thing or what? Well, machines, they've got their place, machines. They're, they're great if you want to make... Um, large pieces of felted you know larger felted but I can make massive pieces with this you can you can yeah you can make pieces as large as your foam block um, okay or even larger because you can move it around can I put two foam blocks together though yeah. can't I you can or you can you know you can move it around you can make yeah. blankets if you really want to I mean and in that instance a machine would make that quicker and easier but it, you know it comes back to that thing it's like the felting is therapeutic you, you, you're using your hands to create it. There is something more satisfying in that, for me, anyway. It would be like using a knitting machine rather than yes, knit. That's right, right. That's right. Okay, yeah, fine. That's right. Okay, so it does have its place for it quickness. Place. Of course, it has its place. Okay, yeah. but do we need it? No, no. And 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 for jewelry design in particular, jewelry making, you're generally making quite small scale. So actually, a machine might hinder what you can. What you you can can't make achieve. the little tiny. That's okay, right. fine. So I know out there right now there is a big thing about needle felting. Okay, yes. we yeah, we mad. know this. It's going huge. Mm -hmm. It's huge in the crafty world. But for jewelry making, I'm about to make you smile. If you've never seen this, now Gemma and I launched this together on a masterclass. Do you remember Gemma? Ten minutes, ten fifteen minutes into the show, the entire We'd stock had sold, sold it out. All, yeah because it is such a great price. I mean, I've seen it. And it's it. so easy, Gemma. I think so you create something amazing and I look and I think, well, anybody, anybody yep. can do this. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Now I'm gonna show you what you're gonna get and then we're gonna go, we're gonna go straight into it. We're gonna let you see how this wonderful medium works. If you're looking for a new medium that's very, very simple and very low cost, I think it's gotta be one of the most cost effective ways to start up a new medium in mm. your crafts yeah. so get yourself on the phone lines I'm speaking to you about the bag of felt we're going to show you how everything works you've got the bag of mixed colors now this felt goes on and on and on and on it you does. get loads now you also get your needles now your needles have got like little teeth sticking out of them which, when they're pushed into the foam board and pulled back out again, knit the fibres of the felt together, creating a solid piece. Now, you've also got you've got your little... What's the difference between wet and dry felt? Because I've been hearing about wet felt as well. Yeah, wet, wet felting is a process of um, creating... Your... Is it flatter pieces? Uh, no, not necessarily. Um, generally, it is more akin to making sheets of, of felt. Uh, um, but it's, a, it's, a, it's just another way of meshing your fibres together to create okay. felt. Okay. Yeah. Now, you have, got the, you have got the little end for your needles. Now, you get two packs of needles here. Are they both the same size, Gem? No, you've got a medium and a fine. Okay. Um, the medium is great for starting off, um, especially 3D objects like beads, um, sculptures, if you're doing that sort of thing. Uh -huh. um, great for starting a pr the process, and then you've got the fine, which is great for adding the detail and creating a nice smooth texture to your felt. So I get all of this and the foam block. And yep. the foam block is essential because yes. you need to get your needle deep, deep down into the foam block to be able to draw it back up again your needle felt bundle comes in seven colors and remember you've got the two different the fine and the medium you get 10 needles in each you've got the needle punch as well and you've got 
So that's the interest. Look at what you can create. It's just fantastic. This is something brand new. Imagine a little cute baby with a little, a gorgeous little hat. If only we had a baby to, uh, yes. to model that right now. All of this. Oh, oh how convenient. J A G C sixty twenty four ninety five for the entire starter kit. This is something Hattie needs on her hat. Can I have accessory baby, please? Oh. Look at her. We're back! <laughs> have you seen this? Come and have a look at Needle Felt. It's great. Give me that baby. Oh, Hello. Nice look on you. That's all right. Hello. Got at the minute. Oh, you've got oh, the riggedy hips. Yeah. Hello. Sorry, darling. It's not as tight. There you go. Hello. Oh, look at her. Oh, yay! <laughs> Guess who's back? Sorry. Yay! Hi! Oh, Can you do it, Gemma? Yeah, I'm well. Sorry, she's, she's gorgeous, Carol. I'll think? give her a little pat. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she looks lush. We all think she's gorgeous. Right, you can go and leave the baby here yeah. if you like. Yeah. Have the have afternoon <laughs> off. <laughs> oh, listen to her. coming back Hick. to work. Have you? When are you coming back? You're gonna bring, are you gonna put, is it gonna be like the British Empire? Are you gonna have the baby under the desk? <laughs> I'm gonna get the baby under the desk. Like oh, a, listen in a to her. I'm not really. No, no that's wrong. illegal. Under the Christmas tree. Oh, listen. Listen oh, to her little really hiccups. Listen how cute they are. She's not going to do it now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. She could not be any cuter. Oh, Hello. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Look at you, your underwear. They're lush. They're lush, little cheeky cheek cheeks. <laughs> cheeky cheek cheeks. <laughs> She's it's looking at you like, what yeah. are you doing? Who is this strange Sorry. woman? I'll let you get back Where's to your felt, because it's great. Is this felt? Yeah, it's yeah. amazing. If you see, look at what it can do. Look, Claire, show yeah. Carol what it does. Because Carol hasn't been here. She's just been what? Oh, Claire, you're there behind there. You can't do it. What does it do? Claire's come in here. It does amazing things. Have you got, got any examples? I got anything with me. Was, Kim, do something. <laughs> What does it do? We could, oh, we could put Chloe. some flowers Chloe's on there. Chloe's it's tight. Should I turn you around and give you a pack? Oh, you can make flowers on yeah. it. Yeah. We've oh, seen it, Carol. We've seen she's holding her head up now. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's, Look at she's you. strong. You're well strong. You're like your mum, sturdy. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Here, look, oh, look. Now, nice have you seen? You can get baby oh, hats lovely. and stuff with the flowers on it. Who oh, Mum, she said, Mum. Gemma Crow, the genius. Oh, Gemma, you're amazing. <gasps> look at that. Isn't it wonderful? Tell me your look, oh, look, and there. Imagine that on, on Hattie's tights. Yeah. Hattie's tights. You can make How ones, cool would that be? Um, that look like little uh, uh, animals and things like that. Yeah. And sew them onto tights. Absolutely. Yeah. No, you don't yeah. need to sew it on. It knits straight onto them. Yeah. 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 No sewing. Do you want it? Do you want oh, it? I love it. That's Do you want awesome. it? Yes. I've just done my niece some little hair bands. You know, get the really, like, they're like the bands that you put your ponytails in with, but they're the really mm -hmm. long ones. Um, you just make a little felt flower and stitch them over. And they make great little hair bands for babies and little ones. Oh, that's very gorgeous. cheap, very easy to make. She's going hick. <laughs> I'm right. trying to make her bring it up. Probably not a good idea on live Probably TV. Not, no. Probably I'll not. Get out your hair. Should we? Uh, get out your hair. Yeah, before it goes but in my uh, hair. Bye yeah. bye. Oh. Meow. Oh, he's Look at she's covered in lipstick. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I just did. <laughs> <laughs> Guess that I'm baby. sorry, what did I do to you? Oh, what did I do to you? Oh, Harry, I'm sure you She's smiling. draws to everyone. It's sorry. not his tights, they're sorry. accessory tights. <laughs> See, if only she had lots of lovely felt, it wouldn't matter, would it? I'll see right. you later. See you later. Oh. See you. Lovely to see you. Second TV debut at just six months. Six months old, is she there six months yet? She's, She's only three She's months. Oh, you forget when you have kids that are big, yeah. though, don't you? You wait till she's 12. You're <laughs> in for it. Now, right. we're going to give you the top-up bundle as well before. we, uh, Which is your needle felt and your DVD, or just your needle felt and your DVD? Now, the needle felt DVD features, of course, the wonderful Gemma Crow, and she does four different, four different techniques on this. The bib necklace, the peacock brooch, which is the one I was not allowed near, mm -hmm. making shapes, which we all do on the dance floor, and a bib <laughs> nec necklace as well. So you've got your needle felt in all the colours and you've got the DVD. If you've already got the DVD, keep it, perhaps give it to somebody as a gift because it's the most amazing, amazing gift, I think, because anybody who's crafty is going to want to do this. And any, even if you're not crafty, yeah. you're going to want to do this. Like we said, you know, the machines have their place, but you don't need it for this, which no. makes it more affordable. So I'm going to give you all of this for just 
seven the DVD is four ninety five on its own. We're well, getting it for free, so even if you've wow. got it already even if you've got that already that's they great. just said, Carol, show us that again. My name's Jenny. See, you've forgotten me already. She's only in for one minute. Yeah. <laughs> Chloe just went, whatever. She's back now. Needle felting. Steady on, Amelia. You don't need me no more, do you? I'm surplus to requirements. £7.95 is your price tag. Look at what you could do. So th this is 4 95 on its own. You're getting it for free, basically. Now, let's get on and see how we do this amazing medium. Let's go to the left, to the left. There we, there we are now. OK. I've got to say, I was really impressed with how well you remembered everything. Uh, do you know why? It was brilliant. Because I love it. I <laughs> genuinely, genuinely love this. So. Uh, yeah, it is. Well, it's addictive as well, isn't it? Yeah. My sister's into it now. She's doing it as well. Um, right, so when you get your pack, you'll get this. Uh, you'll get your two packs of needles, and I'm just going to attach one. Um, and this is what I have lots of questions about, so I'm going to talk you through it. Oh, because, yeah, we didn't look at this before, no, did we? You've got a little oh. handle, mm -hmm. and you've got this little, like, wedge, um, cylindrical um, wedge here. And your needles have got a little hook on the end. OK? You can twist it, there you go, a little hook on the end. What you need to do is you need to pop along that cylinder, there's like a groove that goes all the way along. You just pop your needle um, along that groove so that the hook is on the top of the cylinder mm -hmm. and then you wedge that into the handle and you just pop it in firmly, okay? And that's, mm -hmm. that's it. And then to, to change your needles, you literally just um, pull it out. Wiggle it, don't you? Yeah, it comes out easily and change your needles over. These aren't any old needles. They've got, like I said, these little teeth. Little teeth all the way down. Yeah. I'm doing this when I'm talking about little teeth. And yeah. that draws it in and out. Right, okie okay. dokes. So, so yeah, the teeth, we call them barbs. Little, barbs. Little barbs. That's what that was it, like yeah. barbed wire. Just like, you know, a fishing hook. They're taking like the mickey that. out of us going barb. Barbs. Yeah. All right, barb. <laughs> okay, so the little barbs. And as you can hear, if you listen really closely. I love this, listen. You hear that? Oh, yeah, I love it. And as you push it in, you can hear it scratch. And as you take it out, you can't. And that's because the barbs are facing downwards. So you mesh the, the fabric as we push through the um, wool, which is merino wool, by the way. So it's merino wool? Merino. Oh, merino. So it's a natural fibre, and it's perfect for, me for, for meshing. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'll just quickly show you how to make a, how to make a, a bead, <coughs> which is probably one of the most simple things you can do. Chloe in my mouth. I'm sniffing it. There's something wrong. Chloe said, Merino wool, it sounds like some hot Italian man. Oh, it does, yeah, doesn't it? Ooh. Yeah, that's why <laughs> I smelt it. it no. Okay. It. I don't think it smells like a hot Italian man. No. Not, not that I've ever smelt one. Oh. So. <laughs> it's just going nowhere. <laughs> okay, so I've got a, a tuft of fibre then, and I've just pulled it from the, from the skein, and I'm just going to start it by just rolling it into a ball and then sort of roll it a bit like you would at a chip shop if you're uh, wrapping a packet of chips. You sort of roll it and tuck oh, it in. You've always got to make me hungry, roll you have. Uh, tuck it in. So I've got this ball here, and then what you do is you take your needle and you just push through the fibres. And you don't need to go all the way right through like this because the barbs are only up until here. So you actually only need to go so far along your but needle. But you do want to push into your foam board. That's yeah. why it's important. Oh yeah, you wouldn't want your best, you know, your mahogany table underneath here because you know you will at some points go all the way through. You see I've started pushing that together and that's already started to hold. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you just keep rotating so that you're stabbing this these fibers together from all different angles and that will give you a nice tight mesh for one and also it will help you um, dictate the, sh the shape that you end up with. If I was to stab from all one side then I'm going to get like a flat a flat shape but if I keep rotating and turning I'm going to get a ball okay and as you get more and more into needle felting you'll find that um I'm <laughs> doing that with your <laughs> <laughs> I was like a cat watching tennis. <laughs> oh, don't. How embarrassing! <laughs> I'm never embarrassed. Well, that is embarrassing. I was doing that. 
<laughs> I wonder what you were doing. I don't know if you're gonna look because you'll make me laugh. My scream was on. <laughs> I've learned not to look you when are. you're signalling because you huh? make me. I've yeah. learned not to look when you're signalling because I otherwise I laugh. I was I was genuinely now see you're going up and down. That's what I was doing, following it with my eyes. <laughs> Chloe, you're mean to me, you are. Okay, you can see it. I'm form I've formed a, a bead shape. And you can keep going with this and make um, it as firm as you like. So the more you prod into your felt, the firmer it will become and you'll feel it get less and less spongy as you go. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that's the most basic thing you can do with this needle felting. And that's great just to thread into a necklace. No? Now, because we've obviously been distracted with lovely yeah. babies and ridiculous behaviour, we've only got time to show you that ball, but we do have the DVD. There are tutorials Loads. on our website, so please go and follow those. Uh, it's so wonderful having your company here today. Now, Gemma, you haven't mm -hmm. had much time for your challenge today. Oh, I no. I'm Sorry. Not, and now you're throwing it everywhere. I've got no chance. I am so clumsy. We're going to go to the... Oh, I'm going to stay here. Do you mind if I stay here? You do a no, little bit, don't you? No, She's like, no. <laughs> Don't sit down, Gemma, because there's things on your chair. <laughs> Can you hear everything that's dropping? Sorry about that. Now, your jig. Do you remember we had a Wall of Fame entrant that, um, that uh, sent in that beautiful pendant with the sunstone with the oh, jig? Yes. Now, isn't it beautiful? Wasn't it beautiful? That's gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. And um, if you want to create something over and over again, say say you want to create a piece of earring. Actually, speaking to, about um, my friend Alice's earrings that Mark made for her, and she said, you know, they're irreplaceable because they were a one-off. They're irreplaceable. Now, actually, let's think about this, because if you've got a design that is very popular, but you simply, it's so intricate, you feel like you could only do it once, you need the jig. Also, if you need to make matching pieces, maybe it's for a bridesmaid's um, set of earrings or all of the bridesmaids are having the same exact necklace. Now, this is where you need to be ahead of your game here because for repeat pieces, if, if your customers need that, they would perhaps think they'd have to go and buy something from a shop. Now, to stop that happening and to enable you to repeat the same thing over and over again, use the jig. Now the jig, this is the deluxe jig, which is um, the metallic, which is heavier. This is, this is the one, this, this one you've got, is it? This is great, this one, yeah. Now you've got the, um, you've got the little covers in there. Remind me what those, oh, I know, you put them on the back, don't you, to stop them, stop your them pegs coming out. So you've yeah. got those, yeah, I have used this and I just remember, I just looked at that and thought, I can't remember what I did with those. Just to stop them lifting, because sometimes, yeah. especially if you're using a really high gauge wire, they, they can sometimes lift and you can avoid that. You very often don't need them, but. You could, but if you want to do something over and over again, you're working quite quickly. Yeah. Now, you put your pegs in, you basically just wire around them. You can also make letters yeah. if you want out of these. And it just gives you that opportunity. Now, the metal jig is a really great quality. Gemma, you use yours, and it does allow you... <coughs> it is. It, I actually find the bigger one easier to use than I. I love our little one, and it's great for what it is, but this is better because it's sturdier. I find it much easier, yeah. You don't, you, you don't have to weight the other, this one down so much when you're working because it's because it's heavy mm -hmm. so you can you know really put some pressure on your wire to get very tight shapes which is better if you're working with a real high dent uh, high gauge yeah then it's better isn't it and That's we are going to get higher with our gauges but our, 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 our gauges are going to get thicker yep. so you're going to get the jig and I'm going to give you as well some gold wire in 0.8 <laughs> I shouldn't be let out the house Gemma should I so you've got your 0.8 and you've got your jig all of this for just, you're going to pay for the wire and get the deluxe jig for free. £24.95 is your price tag. That's all you're paying for all of this. I know I've made a bit of a mess, but that's me. And I'm so sorry. This is why I need a jig, you see, because I am a, I'm a big... Des if things look good, it's, a, it's an absolute... It's an absolute mistake that that's happened, and it's a brilliant, <laughs> happy mistake. Uh, you know, if I want uniform in any way, yeah. it comes very, very hard to me. So this is really easy. Yeah. But similarly, if you're a really neat and tidy person, you really sort of strive for that all the time. Yeah. Then this is great as well. So actually, I just think everybody needs this at twenty four ninety five. It's for you if, like me, you're an utter scatterbrain and you can't remember what you did yesterday, let alone last week when it came to some wire work design, and you're not organised enough to write it down. Is that you too? Yeah. Get yourself a jig. Is that you? No, it's not me. It's not you. No, definitely not me. <laughs> but I know people that like to have um, a set 
way of doing something. So mm. like a, almost like a recipe. This is great because you can you can mark up a paper and keep that on file. And you can also say I needed to cut ten centimeters of wire. You know, if you're that sort Ooh, of person, up, yeah. you can really make yourself a you know a booklet of recipes then to create things on the jig. And I know that really suits some people. I yeah. like the idea of that because I'm a girl that needs to follow instruction all the yeah, time. Yeah, and, and, and we all do when we're learning as well, when we're starting out. But some people are that way inclined. That's how they like to create. That's definitely got its place. And so as and so a jig. She's been really mean to me in my ear, that Chloe. She went, that's it? funny because you never follow instructions. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's go over. All right, I'm going over now. She Chloe. likes to have them Sorry so she can break talking. them. <laughs> Too late now, Chloe. It's too late now. Card up. He <laughs> just said, as a friend, don't do that face. What this hatching face? <laughs> That's what my son looked like when he was born. I loved him so much because he made a little hatching face. I just looked at him and thought, I've never loved something that looks all hatchy so much. He looked like he'd hatched. He was the most beautiful thing in the world. And then I took him to see my great auntie and I said, do you like him? And she went, no, I don't. He's bold. I went, oh, how could you say that? She's old, really old. She was in a home, so she was a little bit, you know, like she hated everybody, she hated the outside world. I went, do you love him? Isn't he beautiful? No, he's not. He's a bold child. I just... <laughs> Kim's just said in my ear, when I was born, I was, what, who was it? When your uncle was born, his, your nan told the doctors to take him away because he was so ugly. Women are mad. To Kim, that's really mean. She likes him now, though, right? It was just a moment. It was, she only had a moment. Oh, your nan will be very upset if she knows you said that. No, she won't. She tells her every day. Now, have a look at these. They are uber shiny. I love them. Hang on a minute. Where did these come from? You have to get these home. Gemma, did you have... The oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. This is the one you want, everybody. I can't decide which one's my favourite, but Gemma has made another outstanding piece of jewellery. We're all going to be walking out of here much heavier than we walked in, basically. Look at these gemstones look at the iridescence that you get look at the clarity now you've got thickness you've got thickness as well i love this is this a brand new strand is it exclusive to the kit i've never seen it before i've never seen it before now also getting mystic coat i need these mystic coated rounds look at this oh gemma 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 please let me wear this on christmas day i'll give it you back after it's like the time I took the hairband back and she told me she was coming around my house to get it back if I didn't. I was like, damn you. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, my gosh. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. Oh, come shopping with us today and send us a text message. We love hearing from you. So you're definitely amongst jewellery making friends here this morning. I just love this design. You have to have this kit. Everything Gemma's done today is mind-blowing, by the way, and it will all go on the... Uh, now, the, I've got a piece of jewellery on from the first kit, which I have got to take off reluctantly, though it is. It's going off and it's going on there. Now, you're also getting fresh water pearls with this kit, and they're side-drilled, which means that you can make quite a higgledy-piggledy design. <coughs> now, you've also got your 0.8 silver wire. Oh my gosh, we're getting so much wire in these kits. 0.4 silver wire, and you're getting all your beading materials. You've got your monofilament, your beading thread. Let's get that out of the way. And you have got your elastic. I've got loads on my desk, that's why, I'm so sorry. And then you have got all of your findings. You've got 98 findings this is an opportunity not to be missed i think this kit's going to sell out you've got to act fast you've got all these beautiful findings this could be bridal but it's absolutely christmasy isn't it you wait till you see what Gemma's created you are going to love that lady even more than you did this morning you have got the iridescence you have got the most beautiful strand and i promise you with my hand on my heart you see those gorgeous rounds those pennies they are so much, so much more colourful in real life than they appear on the screens. I'm looking at, the, at my screen and I'm thinking, that's not the same strand. Seriously, the colour that comes from them is amazing. They're beautiful. It's called Forever Bubbles. I'm forever blowing. Come on, Mikey, sing it to us. Can you sing? I'm not going to sing that right now. You're not going to sing that right now. Okay. BDGC61 is your item code. 
you should be paying 43 pounds i'll give you the dimensions of the gemstones in just a tickle you have got your findings here they are everything you need including a meter of chain you have got your three toggle clasps with the extenders you've got the toggle clasp you've got everything you need absolutely everything you need head pins eye pins now the dimensions for your gemstones are let me see let me find it 180 carats of white quartz puffy coins uh, those are 10 mil and they are mystic coated to the hilt you have got your silver rice pearls six by five and you've got your rainbow coated rounds at six mil those are 18 centimeters on the strand 0.4 wire 10 meters of that 0.8 10 meters of that you've got your purple organza gift bag your black and purple drawstring bag and you have got your beading materials bdg c 61 we've only got 40 of these kits left it's already it's, it's gonna sell out before we even give it to you all of this it's only 21 pounds and 95 pence with everything that you've got here a wonderful value fresh water pearls love it forever bubbles let's get over let's trot on over to that lovely lady and see the rest of her amazing pieces at just 21 95 I'm gonna take them all with me and we're going to go on over and have a look at Gemma's designs, which are just literally insanely going in my ears and around my neckline today. This is magical. Absolutely magical. If you were putting on a performance of Narnia, the Snow Queen is yeah. going to wear this. Yeah, that's right. The great thing about that as well is you can turn it upside down and make it into a into a tiara. Kim just said that, can you? Yeah. <gasps> I mean, it's not necessarily set up to do that when that, you know, but this, the design definitely could lend itself to that. I haven't had my roots done, sorry. There you go. Oh my gosh. But it is essentially a necklace. <gasps> yeah. Oh, I need it. It's but lush. That looks as great with a little black dress or a little silver dress as it does with a, a white shirt, you know, an open white shirt. So, oh yeah, yeah. So with the with the with the jeans, gorgeous. Yeah, yeah very Absolutely. classy. Oh, I got, hang on. We've only got thirty left. It's gonna sell out. Oh my gosh, the break. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, you're amazing. Love those earrings. I love everything about this kit. Earrings. Then that. Then you've seen this necklace already, but you've made so many beautiful pieces Gemma that I can't decide so which one Christmas. my favorite it just felt I don't know it just felt like a winter wonderland what is the name of the kit I didn't it's forever called bubbles. I'm forever bubbles but you think it should be called winter wonderland yes, we were just saying that as well so, it's so frosty and sparkly I loved it, it. it yeah. is absolutely good look at all the texture how did you do that you made that's double-ended eye pins yeah that's just literally making lots and lots of eye pins from the from the wire it was really to stretch out the chain and use up the gemstones because I was struggling to use the gemstones up. To Why? Be because you had so much wire and so many findings. And so many, yeah. So many, so much wire, so many gems left. I've still got a little bag of gems left. I love this. The ring, the bracelet, everything is fabulous. Everything is gorgeous. Right. This is your only chance to buy this kit because we are now very 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 limited where it's about to sell out if you want it you've got to snap it up these are my favorite little earrings here they're so Jenny Cleary so lovely and simple as well mm, they're gorgeous absolutely beautiful now Gem which one are you going you want to, to know how to make something yeah, yeah which one okay I'm going to show you how to start the bib star necklace good that one good there. good so good if I can pull it to me I can refer to it Sorry, I just touched my microphone. Oh, Let me just, sorry, I'm so sorry. There we go. That's it. So um, what I've done is I've twisted, because you get 0.6 wire in the kit. Um, is it 0.6? 0. 0. 0. Amelia, what's the sorry. gauges of those two it's wires? Eight. Oh, let me have a look. Eight and four, is it? Sorry. I've put one away. Eight and four, was it? Yeah, eight and four. Yeah, it is eight and four. So what I've done is the eight millimeter wire is fine for like framework for bracelets and things like that. But when you're talking about a really big piece, it's, if you've got the twist at all, it's great to twist it together for the extra strength. So what I've done is I've taken two long lengths of the um, 0.8 and I've made two long twisted sections. Um, okay, so I'm gonna put them together like so. And about 15 centimeters up from the end, I take a piece of my uh, 0.4 wire and just secure those pieces together. 
Like the great thing about twisted wire is it's got a natural hook. You know, it it's easy to anchor onto because it's it know, just locks slightly, together, doesn't it? Slightly textured, mm. yeah. So just roughly wrap those together. And that's done with the wire twister. Can I create this if I haven't got the wire twister? You you can. It takes a lot more um, time and um, it, it it's very hard to get it as neat. But okay. Yeah, you but you get your flat nose pliers, you attach the wire to one end and you either get someone to stand on it or you tie it to a doorknob or door something handle. and you twist, 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 twist yeah. and you're there for about 15, 20 yeah, minutes. Yeah, if you're going to do that, the best thing to do is to like tie it onto a pencil or something and twist the pencil. Oh, that's a good idea. You know I mean? twist yeah, it like because the wire twister tool just keeps going back out of stock and apparently we're yeah. not going to get it back until after Christmas now. Oh, no. Do you need one? No, I'm all right. You're, oh, just, no, you're all right. I feel sorry for everybody else. And I know I've got... Um, bead and thread workshops this week and people love them on there they fall in love and want to buy them I know I know right okay so this is the, the bottom of our bib so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to part these slightly and then here I'm going to pull um, this one round so I'm just holding on to where I've where I've wrapped them together and just pull it round let the wire sort of do its own thing pull it round because I am ten eyes so you can see I've sort of got that nice V shape now so you decide how big you want your bib. Once you once you've got an idea, go up with your um, round nose pliers. I'm still in shot there. With your round nose pliers, and you're just going to create a little loop there. Okay. And you can twist that together, or you can bind it together. It's up to you. And you do exactly the same on the other side. So if you want, you make sure it's perfect. You can fold them next to each other. My pliers in, fold it back on itself, and then if you open that up, you've got a symmetrical shape there, and that's your basic bib shape. Okay? How did you work that? It's just a genius, genius. Yeah. I see now. Oh yeah, I see now. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you can, and then these two here, you can either do, you can pull in and, and make sort of a centre to your to your bib if you like but this this bit is up to you now what you do with that but that's how you make your your symmetrical shape okay and your framework which I'm just gonna place this on just here so you can okay. see exactly can see. what Gemma's talking about um, and then these this section here is where the ends are so you've added that on afterwards that bit no it's all it's these tails oh so you use those to create swirls yeah so what I've done is just pulled them up onto the frame and wrap them in certain places if I wrap one here, you can see. So just take, always have a load of off cuts of 0.4 wire to hand, just so that you can tie things in. So just wrap that in place. Okay, and these bits. So once you've got the shape you want, secure it in place with your bits of wire. All this neatening up can be done at the end. Okay, so we've got a basic frame there. I know it looks a bit scruffy on screen, but we pretend it's pretend it's looking gorgeous okay mm -hmm. and then to add in your um, pearls what you do is you take a very as long as you can work with as long a length of wire as you can work with take it into the frame somewhere anchor it on okay and then you're basically going to crisscross so go um, over, you've got to make sure you don't pull too tight otherwise you'll lose the shape. Okay, wrap it round the frame once and then back into another place and this is completely haphazard. So you're just making this up as you go along really making, now, it's yeah. all about imagination and how that the is, wire flows. That's right, it's exactly, now it's just filling in the gaps, so you keep going. And Claire's just see, saying she could use different coloured wire, would that be different, okay? Different coloured wire would look great, yeah, it would look really great layered up and this does take up a lot of a lot of wire so you're talking about using maybe six or seven meters in this piece so if you've got little random bits of wire in your stash right now loads of different color would look really good it would wouldn't look, it? it would look great yeah it would so you can see how that's going to form what I do is I get it all sort of almost full so you can see how full a mesh I've created here once I've got it to where I'm happy, I then put in the pearls. So they come as the last they're, point. Yeah, they're on my last wraps. And I do that because sometimes you can lose them. Because they get the covered, they don't get they? Covered up, yeah, or, or they end up on the back. And what you want is them all to sit sort of on the front so they're not 
on the neckline. Mm -hmm. nice oh yeah, so they stand proud outwards so that you've got that back in there. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. that makes total I mean, sense. Some of them will sort of poke through the back, that's fine, but mainly you want them proud, you know, at the front. Fantastic. And that's it really. Thank I don't, you, I don't think I need to show you any more than that. You could do a big wire work star with this twister technique as well, couldn't you, for the yeah. top of your tree? Yes, yeah, that'd look lovely. Can you send me a picture of your Christmas tree, please, Gemma? Are you going to add if your I own? I actually get time to do my own Christmas tree. Tom will do it. Tom, Tom will Tom do it Tom did it last year and he does a fabulous job. I bet he's quite crafty as well, isn't he? He's got a good eye for design, Tom. Has he? Yeah, he's got a good design eye. He must get it from his grandma. Must do. <laughs> Obviously he gets we're, it from We're a creative you. family, all of us. He gets <gasps> it from a few of us, yeah. Oh, gosh. You don't know what I've handed down to my kids. Crikey. Forgetfulness, clumsiness, all those things. Beauty. No, listen, do you know oh. what? Yesterday I said to Mia, I didn't feel very well. And Mia said, I will go and wash the school uniforms. I'll put them in the washing machine. Oh. I said, thank you so much. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> she got all the uniforms and she thought that you washed them individually in the washing machine. <laughs> so she's put three loads of washing on with one T-shirt. Hang it up. One T-shirt. <laughs> came oh, in no. and I was like... What's, what's going on? Why is there clothes all over the floor? She's like, because I'm washing them. I was like, what? Individually? Individually? White t-shirts. She was worried that they were going to wash into each other. I don't know what she was worried about. I need to teach her how to use a washing machine. Come on. I'm not really sure how myself. She's got her mother's, she's got her mother's common sense. Only six of these kits left. So it will sell out. Now, I'm going to give to you something else fabulous today. 16. Dum -dum. Uh, something else fabulous. More gorgeous wire I said I know you said 18 to me and I said 16 but I went for 18 you see I don't know what's happening my brain does this thing where it just pats things back and I get there in the end now <laughs> uh, one of Gemma's DVDs the motives Gemma's uh, is Gemma's DVD and uh, and Rachel Norris who's here in December I hope I get to do that show because I love that lady She's crazy, and I love her. Uh, number 0.6, gauge 0.6, 1.5. 1.5 is the best for me, I love it. And you've also got 0.4. Now this comes with, and what a combination. What a combination. The Trini and Susanna of jewelry making, or even better than that, actually. Think of two, not Aunt Deck, because they're not crafty. I want to think of two cooks, but the only ones I can think of are the two hairy bikers. I don't want to compare them to hairy bikers. Anyway, two brilliantly talented people. Have a look. The Tess and Bruce of uh, jewelry making, perhaps, if you're into Strictly. Now, here's the three projects that you do. You've got the chin for it. Shut up, Gemma. <laughs> Gemma said, I've got the chin for it. Uh, you have not the owl. <laughs> I love this. Gemma, you're a, such a talented lady indeed. Then you've got Rachel's wrapped heart. And then you've got Gemma's caged heart. Wonderful fusion of talent in this DVD. And uh, do you know that we don't have many DVDs where two wonderfully talented people come together. It is an absolute collaboration. It's like when Westlife did that song with Mariah Carey. That's what it's like. <laughs> It's like McBusted. That, you know, it's just wonderful. It, it is absolutely fantastic to have two such talented people on one DVD. You get wire with this. The DVD is 4 95 on its own. And when we first launched this, it did sell out on launch day. And it has continued to be one of our most popular selling DVDs of all time this is a 50 pound bundle if you were shopping with us 49 pounds 80 is what it would cost you to be exactly precise now because we've put it together in a bundle you're not paying the best part of 50 pounds today i'm going to give you an offer that means that you are going to make an incredible saving pyg c20 is your item code all of this for just 34 I like it when you get deals like that 34 pounds and 95 pence fantastic value unbelievable value right now make sure you're checking out baskets if you're shopping with us online if you want to get webby with us it's all the w's dot jurymaker.com that phone number on your screen is a free phone number if you're dialing from the uk so 800 644 now you could do you could work with your wags y cone with this why don't we add the wags y cone in in ages 
You know that's my favourite tool. 34.95. Mr. Wag put something on my presenter page. Did you see it? No. He did a little cartoon saying, thanks for mentioning me. Because I was. it makes me laugh every time the Wag's Wycone. It's the most catchy name in the world, but it does sound like you've caught something terrible. It does. Now, let's give you... Oh, can we do these little clear quartz bicones, Kim? Because I think they're going to go really well with Gemma's Challenge Day, and I love the sparkle. Have a look. They're going to go with the kit that Gemma just had as well. We got a brand new strand in the words of Carol. I wonder if that baby's still got hiccups. I'm worried. Now, oh, I love them. I can't wait till my nephew's born. My sister's having a boy. Oh. I am trying to talk her out of the name that she's chosen for the child. You don't want to know? She's obsessed with Dirk Beauregard, so she wants to call it Dirk. That's not a baby's name, is it? D exactly, Dirk, D no, yeah. it's not happening. His surname will be Selby, and he's going to be called Dirk Francis Selby, so his initials will essentially be DFS. Oh, no. What can you do? I'm going to love this child anyway. I don't care what she calls him. I love him anyway. Have a look. Yeah, she has to be obsessed with the weirdest people. Have a look. Well, not that Dirk Beauregard is weird. He's fabulous, but... Have a look at what I got for you. Totally sparkly. Now think about how you're going to put these together to make a beady bead. Think about how wonderfully sparkly these are going to be. Think about putting these in chandelier earrings with pearls. Loads and loads and loads of layers. Really sparkling for Christmas Day. I just love a bicone. Jen, where do you think, by, where do you, you, when you buy bicones, and I know mm -hmm. you do buy them quite often from yeah. us, why? What, what projects do they fit into? I usually buy them for tiaras and fascinators because they just look lovely because they've got that lovely taper they just look lovely on sort of the end of tendrils and things like that they tessellate nicely for flowers and Ooh. yeah they're just they're just a lovely shape they've got loads of sparkle they'd look nice in that bib that you just did yeah they would very i'd allow do you like to allow movement because of the because of the facets or do you like them to knit together or both oh both yeah definitely both if definitely you're doing both. your bead weaving this would be a good one for that as well yeah a great, do, I you do, do you do that do you do beads uh, sewing with beads and stuff yeah I love I love it but it's I think it's the sort of thing that I will buy from somebody else and let them yeah. put all the time in because I don't because you're the more patience. you're you're more there with your blowtorch and your big mask on like yeah. uh, like the girl at flash dance yeah. aren't you yeah <laughs> now get yourself on the phone line that's who you remind me of is it Alex from flash dance <laughs> FJGP43 is your item code six millimeters these bicones and you get the sparkle and you get the facets and my goodness me don't you just get the clarity FJG like I said P43 Hop on board because we love your company today. We love your cheeky tech 6077 GM, JM Studio, not GM Studio. Followed by your message. A brand new strand coming to you for just a very, very cheeky £6.95. pence. For me, they're for chandelier earrings and beady beads. Yeah. But what are you going to do with them? That's the point. We want to see. Don't forget us hair grips out of these bicones would be cute and Kim's just saying to me she did you did it for your sister's wedding for your friend's wedding is your sister officially engaged now Kim she did it for her friend. she's officially engaged because Kim knew that it was coming before you tried to talk the boy out of marrying your sister didn't you actually that was kind of you don't marry her she's crazy said uh, said Kim which was nice <laughs> Which means I've got no hope. Six ninety-five is your price tag. It really is fantastic. Look at that sparkle. Now I'm going to give you a little recap of uh, the DVD that we launched today. A launch on Alison's DVD for you. Wire sculpture. This is a must-have. If you were there yesterday uh, on Facebook and you saw how many people were putting uh, my name is and I am a, uh, a JM addict just like uh, Mark Smith did with his chips and nuggets. Did you see that when he filled up his whole couch with them? Couch? A lounge? What is it called? A settee? Yeah, it's called a sofa. Why did I say couch? I don't even call it a couch. You don't even call it a couch. Why don't we just go? Why don't we just go watch the television in the in the stud in the what do they call it? The snug, something, the den. Right. Anyway, um, <laughs> have a look. 
at what you've got. You can create mind-blowing designs like this. It just, and this box opens. I'm just thinking, what do I, I just want to put tissue paper in it, purple tissue paper, with something inside it. Chocolate, chocolate. Just one chocolate, because I would have eaten the rest of them. Perfume. Perfume. Mm. Little bottle of perfume in there. Yes. Nice. With a little polymer clay bottle mm. that you've made. You know, like round the bottom of the bottle. Yeah. We all like a bit of perfume at Christmas, don't we? Now, you're going to get this wonderful DVD. I think you know the price tag. The stocking and the bell that you can make there, and the bell goes ding. <laughs> Sheep go ba. I love that song too. HXT Y17 is your item code. You are going to love this. It's a great gift for anybody that you know that likes to get crafty with wire. We're going to give you that extended money back guarantee on absolutely everything that you buy from us here at Jewelry Maker today. So pop this one in. It's, it's less than five pounds and you learn so much. I think our DVDs offer the very, very best value. You really are going to learn something new from it. Well, three or four new things from this. And you know what? I cannot wait to see what you do. You know the bird that, what was that girl's name, the 19-year-old girl's name? That Chloe. Chloe had done. Just amazing. And that was a takeoff of Alison's bird that she did. I hope Chloe is watching today. And I hope Chloe has got her DVD because I think, you know, I think she's amazing. She's wonderful. And Chloe, you're going to really, if you can do that bird, this is going to be a walk in the park for you. 4 95 for under a fiver. It's, it's, it really is grand. Now we're going to go and check out everybody else's designs in the Wall of Fame. <laughs> Stunning, isn't it? Believable. This is from somebody called Kim again. Is it you, Kim? Kim's are good today, says Kim. They are good. They're amazing. I don't even know what this is. Just that's wonderful. Nice. That's the nicest use of that hematite in that shape that I've seen. That's definitely. I love might that. Having to go at that one. I love it. Look at look at what Kim's designed. This is literally. Can you see it properly? Isn't this wonderful? It's like feathers, isn't it? Oh, I love this. I just love it. I love wire. Wire is wonderful, isn't it? Right, OK, let's see what Kim's got to say. I've got to stop. I'm just in awe. I'm just oh, all over this. Uh, my entry for this week's Wall of Fame is my first, oh, no, first ever attempt at wire work. Yeah. Are you serious? That is, that's fabulous. I do think it's, you know, that design in particular, Sheila's showing it, it's a really great design to start with. It's I so don't effective. even believe this. <laughs> Kim, this time next year, Rodders, you'll be a millionaire. Sorry my coils are a bit dodgy. What are you talking about? And I really need to practice on a... No, you're perfect. I think that the rainbow hematite works so well with the copper coloured wire, and I hope I have a win as I really need to get some 0.8 wire to create more uh, love from Kim. Kim, you're fabulous. Gorgeous. Not you, Kim. This one. 103. Kim's taking the grat Tim's taking the Kim's taking the uh, thanks for you. That was easy for you to say, wasn't it? it? Uh, Tim's caking, I yeah. said, instead of Kim's taking. Right. I've got um, number 104 from Jane Milestone uh, in Winsford in Cheshire. She says, I hope everyone is keeping well and at last I'm getting the hang of your 12 hour sessions. Oh. Uh, my wall of fame this week was inspired by the designers at the V&A shop. <gasps> so I thought I would make something completely different to my normal jewellery. Mm -hmm. I used a marker pen to make the black wire into rounds, then squashed them up the sides and made a knot at the middle. Oh. I placed the gorgeous pale pink shells inside and added a wire flower. It's a great technique. Um, she says, no time to chat, as I have a new smartphone and I have no idea how to use it. <laughs> so... Um, <laughs> So, no, no idea how to use it, so if I want to text you at JM at any point, I had better get cracking. The Sunday ladies with designers made some fabulous jewellery, and Jenny always brings sunshine into the studio. Don't know who she is. Uh, bye from Jane. That's fantastic. 
Jane, you're Great. amazing. Let's know what the V&A was like. I meant to, go, I wanted to go, and I was going a couple of weeks ago, but you know what it's like with kids, something happened and I couldn't go. And um, I know Debbie Belford's going, I'm really, really into going to yeah, that. I, go. I am. We I'd should like to go again. Let's go. Uh, number 105, look at this. The mix of colour here is fantastic. And this is from Jean in Derby. And Jean writes, Hi all at Jewellery Maker. I love the programme and all the great presenters and demonstrators. This is my first entry to the Wall of Fame. I hope it's good. I love this use of colours. I've got a scarf like this. Yeah, I think it's fab. Um, <laughs> she's only been jewellery making for a few months. Well, welcome, Jean Big, massive welcome to you. Um, she's made this from white quartz and hematite chips and purple striped agate. I love it. Absolutely think this is gorgeous from Jean. So that's hematite there. Oh, yeah, yeah. so it is. Wow. Really nice. So make, oh, look at that centre bead. That is gorgeous. Uh, I've got my favourite. It's um, Labrador right there. It's number 106 from Trisha Bell um, in Allendale. She says, Dear GM, please find attached my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. I made this necklace and bracelet set using grey moonstone rondelles and rose quartz nuggets from a gems of distinction strand. I hope you like it. Can regards, Trisha. See, now I thought that was Labradorite. They're so gorgeous. I th that grey is Labradorite, isn't it? Is it yeah. Oh yeah, of course. No, it's grey moonstone. It's beautiful. Really lovely. Yeah, it, it does look like Labradorite though, doesn't it? Yeah, fantastic. I've got something that is so unbelievably amazing. Isn't it? How have they done this then? It's fantastic. I don't know if it's so, let's read it. But literally, I'm just looking at this and going, I just mouthed, oh my word. It's, yeah. Anne-Marie and Nuki. I think we need an afternoon show with that one. I think we need you in, love. You need to get in here. That's what I'm, Claire just, did you hear Claire in my ear then? Wow! No, it's absolutely stunning. I can't, sorry, yes, I must read it. I'm sorry, I'm like this. <laughs> Look, oh, hi everyone in the studio, I hope you're all well. I can't remember the last time I sent in an entry. Well, she's obviously been in a workshop, that's why. I thought I'd better show my face. Here is a locket I made from sterling silver in Labradorite. She's made this, she's a silversmith, obviously. Oh my word, well, Anne-Marie and Nuki, you're wonderful. I wonderful. do hope you sell your jewellery, I'm it's sure you do. It's all cold fix though, so it's, yeah, it's silversmith, you know, she's obviously a silver silversmith but it's all cold fix there's no What's welding or anything there's no welding or anything so it's all achievable with wire um yeah right, and she's actually gorgeous. shown how she's attached it in like a spider webby way yeah that's amazing honestly absolutely stunning isn't it i think Anne marie should get in touch with us yeah. i think that's just literally i'd like to see a master class on that i'd like to see a master class on that too yeah goodness That'd gracious me Somebody call Anne Marie, please. She hasn't got. She hasn't left a phone number. Well, it, of course she hasn't. She wouldn't be safe. I'd be on the phone to her, wouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, my wonderful presenters pick is coming up for you after the break. And uh, whilst you're watching the break, uh, we're going to give you a little bit of information on some of the workshops that we've got coming up. We'll be right back. Book now to take part in the experience. Take a behind-the-scenes tour of our TV studios, meet the presenters, and learn about gemstones and jewellery. The price of £169 includes an overnight stay at the picturesque White Swan Hotel, a buffet lunch, refreshments and a three-course dinner. Dates are limited, so call or email us now for an experience you'll never forget. Our standard delivery is now only £2.95 per day, regardless of how many pieces of jewellery are added to your order. Delivery takes between four to six working days, and if you want your jewellery quicker, simply speak to our call centre about our premium delivery service. Jewellery Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Here at the Genuine Gemstone Company, we are happy to announce that our studio store is now open. If you attend any of our courses, you can now browse through special items, get exclusive discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. 
become an exclusive customer at the Studio Store. For more information on available courses and dates, please contact our call centre. The new Studio Store. The experience just got better. Frosty, icy, gorgeous, topaz, Icelandic sky blue. It's got that chill, it's fabulous with silver. And to have topaz, to have November's birthstone, is to have a gemstone that the world goes crazy for. So many people will tell you that topaz is their favorite gemstone. Actually, it surprised me at how many of my friends tell me that it's their favorite gemstone. Topaz offers us lots of different diverse colors of blue, different types of blue, and greeny colors as well. We get pink topaz, don't we? Peony to pink topaz. But this is my favorite because I love the way that it is so crisp, so beautiful. There's no other, no other color quite like sky blue topaz and it has got that if you imagine when you look at documentaries of uh, out there in in really snowy places with that really fabulous blue sky we're not a cloud in the sky that's what it reminds me of now look at these drops and think about the winter bride with something blue um, and don't you don't have to go mad putting lots of these together because in fact what you can do is take one. Let's not over egg the pudding here sometimes. Take one, put your, put your wire through that top drill. Go around and around and around. Make a loop, carry on around, neaten that loop up. Pendant. All that chain we've been giving you lately, a simple, beautiful drop for the bride. A matching pair of very simple earrings as well. Maybe post and butterfly back so you get that swing. And maybe at the back of the necklace you want one little tiny topaz as well something blue and something new now these are graduated so if you want to put them in the tiara that would be fantastic in rachel norris's dvd and i'm not sure if claire's got a picture of this or not there's blue topaz in the center of a flower that she's created i think it's a gold flower claire and it's got in the center of it. it's on the uh, rachel rachel norris's dvd it's got all these wonderful centers of the little pear drops. Now, Rachel Norris uses these quite often. In fact, she uses a lot of our Gems of Distinction strands for the stamens of the flower, for the centerpiece of that flower. And when they're graduated, you can move up towards the larger gemstone towards the center. So it gives that 3D effect a lot easier. Now, these are super for putting together in a cluster. Look how beautiful they are. They're absolutely stunning. Can you see the clarity going on here? Now, Gemma, we've got this beautiful color. We've got this beautiful shape. They're not faceted. They've got that lovely roundness to them. Facets are beautiful when you want sparkle. Where are you gonna put these as far as Gemma Crow's designs go? carnelian and blues at the moment so I think I'm gonna put those with them and maybe a bit of sparkle with the carnelian if you've got the rounded smoothness of those to make it glistening yeah. almost yeah to make them stand out you know I yeah. just love this color do you I love Gorgeous. it really really beautiful and I love the fact that you've got different depths of blue cluster them together put them with pearls absolutely beautiful with pearls have a look now have a look at how Rachel Norris uses her blue topaz and you can use these in a very similar way see those centers the stamens of the flowers hers are faceted but you don't have to do the faceted ones you can create this kind of look see how how it creates a cluster now grab Rachel's DVD we've got it in stock but we've only got a few of them left because we relaunched it yesterday for you so 
grab that if you want to make those flowers. Even if it's just one flower, you don't have to make that elaborate piece. You could just spend your time, your hours, just making that one flower. And it could be that perfect brooch for a Christmas gift. Now, the teardrop, as you know, is super versatile. And you've got the graduations. I am just going to give you this outstretched so that you can see the graduation. Wouldn't that make a beautiful necklace just like that? Wouldn't this be stunning in a tiara? That bridal piece, maybe you've got a commission. Maybe you're hoping for that commission. Kim, who's gonna be doing your sister's jewelry? Do you know? You should get one of our jewelry making, our, our, our team to do it for her. Now we're gonna give you for this brand new strand of topaz, which generally is a more expensive gemstone here at Jewelry Maker. It is gems of distinction. Oh, sorry, do you know what I haven't done? I haven't counted them. And I know if, if you're anything like me, you wanna know exactly how many you're getting. One, two, three, four, five. 18 on my strand, you should get there or thereabouts, always the same carat weight. How, how much to, blue topaz have we got in stock? I haven't seen any. We've got like, we've got the, we've got lots of, um, you know, this is going to go very, very well. We've got white topaz, this is going to go very, very well with Gemma's Challenge. And actually, let's look at those colours next to each other. This is going to, that's going to look stunning with the challenge. God, I love that strand. I absolutely, mm, it's coming up for you later. Beautiful. Now, Oh gosh, it's not gonna look gorgeous together. Oh my gosh. So we're gonna give you all of these wonderful gemstones, polished like you wouldn't believe. Look at that. So round, so lovely. Think about them as the stamens. Think about them as the cascading earrings. Think about them as the simple drop pendant. Whether yours are using these in a big cluster or whether you're using these singularly, EMRU84 is your item code. Get yourself on the phone lines. I'm gonna give you this strand for just 15 pounds and 95 pence. You were expecting 24.95, weren't you? Well, it's just 15.95. Any any price I could change from 20 pounds is doing it for me. 0800 6 555. There are queues. It is a free phone number if you're dialing from a UK landline. If you're not and you want to get webby with us, it's all the W's dot jewelrymaker.com. This is a brand new strand. This is going to be perfect for creating those higher end pieces in your collections. The one that you want to give to your best friend for Christmas. The one that's going to create beautiful earrings. Now I have got some post and butterfly backs and I said to you earlier I do think these would look really great with post and butterfly backs so Kim God lover has um, put some in thank you Kim because they're my favorites I do love them I love a shepherd's hook as much as the next person but my choice would always be for the post and butterfly back it would it would now I'm gonna give you something else new you know the higgledy biggledy pearls I just get I love these so much higgledy piggledy pearls can I try them on? Pearls are being celebrated everywhere at the moment and are particularly fantastic at the moment. If you've been to the v &A, uh, Museum and seen the pearls throughout the ages, oh my gosh, this looks so Victorian, doesn't it, like that? How beautiful. Isn't this gorgeous, Gem? It's in black lace. So vintage. Yeah. Now you use pearls a lot, Gem, because you're very, very into your vintage pieces. Mm -hmm. Are they an important gemstone in your collections? Yeah, yeah, definitely, and, and a lot of bridal commissions and things that almost... I haven't had many brides that don't want any pearls at all. I think maybe one. One bride that didn't years. have pearls? But only one that didn't have a, a pearl or some pearls in there. Now you're creating your mum's wedding jewellery, aren't you? Yes. Is she having pearls? She will be having pearls, yeah. But yeah, and she it's likes her birth, it or not, she's having... It's her birthstone as well, so she'll be having oh, she's some She's a June pearls. baby. Yeah, yeah. And that's important actually, these are a birth gemstone as well as anything else. They're said to stop the bride from crying on her wedding day. Don't cry, you'll run your mascara. Now, like I said, actually, look, these are like, these are top drilled, not side drilled, but look, they're like little teardrops. Can you see? Do you see the way they go here? That's what makes me think of Victorian jewelry. I, I'm not sure why, you probably know. Um, please go and check out the V&A. Um, I don't know whether the, um, the V&A's um, website shows the pearls through the ages. If you can't get out there, have, uh, maybe check the website, I'm not sure. Um, I'm hoping to go, because it's not too far from my house. I am really hoping to go, so um, I will let you know when I do. I did. I would have wanted to go the other week, but I, something happened and I couldn't go. Now, these are genuine freshwater pearls, and like I've always said to you, pearls will offer elegance. To me, when I was younger, 
not that much younger, about 10 years ago, I think, 11 years ago, I just had Mia and I was on my own and I didn't, I've told you this story, I know, but the, for the first time I really sort of realised how expensive the world's pearls were, was when, look how gorgeous they look with this, when I was working my little socks off in Chicago and I had a lunch break, and actually wasn't, wasn't getting lunch breaks, was working through them and I, I used to go there sort of once a month and I had a lunch break and I thought, I'm gonna go down to the water tower, which is like this big, big mall. And on the way I passed one of the world's most famous jewelers. You might have an idea of who I'm on about. And they had a promotion um, on pearls. They had this big thing going on about pearls and I think it was South Sea pearls. And I remember looking and, and I remember seeing one pearl pen for thousands of dollars in the window and I don't know why I did this because I couldn't have I don't even think I could afford a coffee at the time you know I was uh, and I went in there and I thought I'm just gonna go in and pretend I'm one of these ladies and I looked around and I thought oh they were all immaculate these women wearing pearls looking like they would just had their hair done and I just you know when you're just like oh my goodness and I just remember looking at these pearls and thinking I wish I could walk up to that counter and ask for a pair of pearl earrings and walk out with the bag and with my pearl earrings, with those time, I just wish. And then when I started years later working here and I saw the prices of pearls, I promise you, I couldn't believe it. So I bought quite a lot of them. So I thought, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Pearls are treasures to us. Pearls are things that my grandma has passed down to me. My gran has passed down to me. She's given me a bracelet that was given to her when she was 16. They are timeless. They, they were, you see, famous paintings of past queens and kings wearing these wonderful gemstones and they're still in fashion they're still elegant they still make us think of riches and elegance of course they do and now I just think it's wonderful but even though as having said that we, that we can afford them having said that like I say to you quite often since August I, on August, August the 2nd it was I went to um, Cambridge and we walked into there's a big square in Cambridge I've only been there once and it's it's bustling it's all bustling and there's buskers and things like that there's also an amazing jewelers in there and uh, my my other half and I went into this jewelers and he was looking at watches and I was bored so I was looking at all the gorgeous pearls two thousand pounds for a pearl necklace oh, it's a lot of money isn't it or a wee crazy low. Speaking to Hannah Roxbury about this on the phone, actually, because her and I both share an obsession with pearls. And it's true, we are giving you very low price tags on pearls. We are. And so with that in mind, I would snap these up. Will it happen forever? Of well, of course, I can't ever promise that we're going to continue this. I mean, if, if, we, if we continue what the world is continue, if we, if, we, if, we, if, we, if we get the backlash of, of the world's price tags, Maybe ours are going to go up. I'm not sure. I can't guarantee anything. And I, you know, I'm not a mathematical person, as you know. Oh, 806 triple four six double five is the number. I would get these now, knowing that they're always going to be in style. It's never a waste of money to get pearls. They are always stylish. They are always elegant. They are always going to be popular with your customers. And there's no mistaking a real pearl. When you place it against your skin, it will feel cold, a couple of degrees colder than whatever room you're in. So you know it's a real pearl. You look at these pearls and you see such beauty. I'm going to give you these pearls for a tiny price tag. FJGP57 is your item code. They're nine by six and they're own low, oh, Kim. Anybody who like me thought they could never afford pearls, you now can. Six pounds and 95 pence this is a mind-blowing deal make sure you get your gorgeous white pearls these are our most popular color they're a wonderful size they're top drilled is this going to be a huge profit maker for you let us know what you create out of these those classic earrings perhaps a beautiful beautiful bracelet just a, a, a stretchy bracelet would look stunning with this wouldn't it 6.95 for genuine pearls this is a brand new strand approaching half of the stock has already been allocated on the website so don't miss out if you're shopping on the phone lines you need to be dialing right now we are buzzing buzzing busy for these the code for you again in case you're watching afterwards is f for foxtrot juliet golf p for papa 57 for 6.95 the value is Phenomenal, you've got an extended money back guarantee. If you're shopping with us today or any day right on the run up to Christmas, you've got until the 31st of January next year. That's 2014, which is bananas, isn't it? It's bananas, I can't even believe it's gonna be 2014, can you? Whew. Now, are they nearly sold out, are they? Oh, 
almost gone. I don't want them to sell out, I love those. Let me know what you do with them. Now, my darling jewelry makers, we're gonna go to the um, post and butterfly backs. Now these, I don't know why it is, it's because they swing a little. Do you think this gem, when you put a gemstone, particularly gems of distinction, on the end of a post and butterfly back, they get this nice swing to them? Yeah, yeah they do, and they don't, they tend not to inter get in your hairline, in your hair as much. Yeah. And they can make something really, I'm gonna give you a pair of these just in case you wanna make a pair of just really delicate that's one a, drop earring that's out, a good of, idea. out of your citrine mm. that I could model for you if you wanted. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. Good plan. Because I, I, it is a good plan, isn't it? Gemma can have these, can't she? You get stacks, they won't even notice, Gemma, because there are absolutely stacks <laughs> in here. Now, these are on copper, these are e-coated, sterling silver on e-coated copper, so any of, so anybody that worries, oh, you know, it's not sterling silver all the way through. Now, I, 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 just, everything's e-coated. So if you have got that customer, these are hypoallergenic because of that e-coating. That's what it's there for, to protect the skin and also to protect the metal from tarnishing. Now, um, I do get a bit, I get a bit sensitive, like with washing powder and stuff like that. You know, I, I get the normal sensitivities. My daughter is allergic to everything, dust, which is a bit bad given that I'm her mother and I'm a terrible housewife. Dust, pollen, pets, a bit bad as well because we've got animals and we used to live on a farm. What am I trying to do to this child? Literally, she's allergic to everything. But you know what, e-coating. She always wears things that I bring home from work on her wrist, around her neckline. And believe me, this child re reacts to everything. She's got eczema, everything. Uh, and she's never, ever reacted touch wood uh, that she doesn't she's never reacted to anything with the e coating on so just to give you that peace of mind I hope I mean that's my situation everybody's skins are different obviously but just so that you know um, our, our producer Deanna is allergic to she only has to look at certain things and she comes up in a rash particularly men um, now she wore a piece of jewelry and she was fine now I'm gonna give to you stacks and stacks have a look. Deanna was seen out wearing chainmail earrings the other day, apparently, from non-precious metal. There we go, then. 100 pairs. 100 pairs is what you're getting. I'm going to give a few of mine to Gemma Crow. Now, if you were paying anywhere else, what would you be paying? Even if you were paying 50p a pair, you could perhaps make a profit. Would you agree with that? 50p a pair would make them 50 quid, is that right? Am I, is my maths okay there? That's right, there's 100 of them. 50p a pair would be 50 quid, right? I'm gonna say yes. Yeah, is that right, Gemma? Is my maths that good? Yeah. 100 pair, yeah, good, sorry. Yeah. I have to back it up, because yeah. you know I, I can't do numbers. I'm, it panics me. Now, sorry, I know, I know I'm silly. Now, um, if I give you these for 50p each, I think we'd be being quite competitive to the world's markets, I do. Even if I was giving you these, Even if I was giving you these for 25p each to make them 25 pounds, is that right? I think this is basic math. I think I think it's right. Yeah, if I had 20, if I gave them for 25p a pair, that would be 25 pounds, wouldn't it? If I've got 100 pairs. Yeah. Right. Good. Gemma's saying yeah, and she looks cleverer than me. Now, <laughs> I'm not 25p for a pair. Would I be able to make a profit out of that, Gem? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Right, okay. So if I gave you these at £25, you'd be getting a great value. I'm not. You know I'm not. I'm gonna, I want you to have even more of a profit margin. I want you to be able to create stacks and stacks and stacks of earrings. You've got the backs. These are great to push into polymer clay. I would push these into my polymer clay. I love Debbie. Debbie's Millefleury at the moment. Are we going bananas for Millefleury? I love it. What about if you want to do felt earrings, do something quirky like little Santas? These would be perfect for that, especially at the price tag I'm going to give you. Back in stock. But for how long? When I give to you a price like this, I wish I could work this out per pair, but Kim's better. I'm gonna give to you <laughs> the tiny price tag of $14.95. Kim, per pair, there's 100 pairs. What does that make it per pair? Is it 14p? I'm not sure. Don't make it up, is it? Don't disagree with me, because I'm not good at math. I mean, this is a crazy opportunity. 
Is it 15p? Just under 15p. Just under 15 pence per pair, which I think is great. So I'm going to give Gemma, I'm going to give, they have got the hooks on them for you to put your little gems of distinction. If you're looking at getting Gemma's challenge, I've got, I like the idea of those lovely faceted citrines for a pair of Christmas earrings just dangling. Yeah, just them on their own. So let's, let, let's, let's not restrict Gemma, let's give these to her. Let's give Gemma some, some findings. Thanks, Mikey. There we go. Thank you, Mikey. <laughs> I, I do think you get that, that swing, that swing on these. And because they've got that, that lovely loop, they will accommodate quite a lot of a gemstone. And if you've got gems of distinction, you want that extra security with the back, then you've got it, haven't you? And, and, and do you know, I do wear shepherd's hooks, you just get a totally different look. Now I'm gonna give you another stack deal. I like that they're in a little pot of their own. I'm gonna really try not to, what am I gonna, how am I gonna not? I'll get you a I oh yeah, good idea, Mikey. Because Amelia's not gonna like me if I mix them up. Thank you, my darling. Now, I'm gonna give to you. I got a little, have you got a little white velvety board over there, Gem Gems? Or a foam mat? Mike is running around. Here we go. Here, it's all right, Mike has got, thank you, Michael. Oh, I like this, I think I'll keep it. Oh, I love the feel of these. Do you know what I did the other day? I made my sister something, won't say what, because her birthday on December the 13th, and she's going to be 40, she'll like me for that. Um, I cut some of this, and I put it inside one of the boxes we sell, cut a bit of this, and I put a slit in the middle of it. I don't want to give away what I've made, but I put it inside. I, I felt like a little bit of a genius for doing that, because you know ideas don't normally come to me very easily, but that happened. Now, anyway, I'm going to give to you, e-coated again, these are our antique bolt ring with the matching jump ring to go with. So these are for necklaces, these are for charms, these are for bracelets. Well, you know, you've seen these a million times before, I'm sure. And if not here at Jewelry Maker, I'm sure you've got a piece of jewelry with this as a finding that attaches anything. Now, Gem, these are kind of findings that you just need absolutely hordes of, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, you can't be without them. They just essentials you need a clasp on everything you do pretty much so. and in this antique finish you've got that lovely you've got that lovely look that vintage look it is a favorite of mine to have the vintage now irg p01 i love the antique bronze when i'm verdigreen can you can you verdigree on top of this because these are e-coated i think if you use the swell again primer Oh yeah, of course then you, you can, can prime it. Yeah. Th then mm. you can do the patina, the swellagant patinas on them. Okay, so get the primer. It's on our website, and, and I'm I'm a mad, mad fan. I am of of swellagant. Now, I'm going to give you another fabulous deal. A bit of a trade deal. This is like going to one of those big shops where everything is just for people who own businesses. That's what this is like. I went to one of those the other day. I bought the biggest jar of pretzels I've ever seen in my life. I can literally climb in it. <laughs> I've eaten half of them already. Now, you have got a grand opportunity here. 100 of them. That's 100 bolts and 100 rings. So you've got the bolt ring clasp. You don't have to use them together. You could separate them and have 100 jump rings, or closed jump rings if you wanted to. And you could attach something else. Whatever you want to do. These could be for charms, couldn't they? IRGP01. Here's another one of those trader deals for you. You're not watching The Late Show with Ed. You're watching The Day Show with Jen. Six pounds, 95 pence. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Now's definitely the time to grab them. Absolutely grab them. All of these, 100 of them. Gem, have you seen these? I know sometimes we all have to go to that big crafty store, especially if we've got kids because they like, they yeah. need stuff for homework. Yeah. Um, have you seen these? How much are they? Because I've never shopped for these anywhere else. I, you know, I don't, I don't know how much they, they are in bulk, but I think I've bought something like five or six in a, in the past in a packet and they're about 2 99 ish for about five or six you're getting a hundred yeah for six so the value here for you yeah would be you can't buy them in that quantity usually 
Do you know what I mean? In hundreds, can't you? No, no like, yeah, I guess you can't unless you're going to somewhere like the jewellery court. Can you even yeah. get them in the jewellery court? Or is that just fine jewellery? I don't know. I've not been, but definitely, definitely not in that um, craft store that you're talking about. I've not seen them in that sort of quantity. Only ear findings sometimes, earrings you find in that quantity. We've got a bead shop in Hitchin where I live and I didn't see findings in there, just beads and threads and things like yeah. that. Monofilaments and stuff like that, yeah. yeah. We didn't see any findings like this. 6 dollars what a wonderful deal. And if you've got a bit of a group of you that maybe get together every month, grab big things like this. Maybe like Mark Smith, you allow yourself a findings um, finance. That's budget. what he does. Yeah, he's got a little budget for his findings. Now, oh, are we doing the challenge kit now? We're not looking at the jewellery till the end, but so many of you are asking, please, please, please bring us the challenge. I know I'm in love with that strand too. Now, is this strand exclusive, Kim? Because the citrine I'm talking about, I've never seen it I am in love with this I'm gonna can I try it on as a necklace and be a bit of a princess we have got ex oh my oh my <gasps> I'm in love feels so cold against your skin a genuine gemstone when you first put it on doesn't it <gasps> mm. it's the gemstone of happiness Oh, it's making me smile now. I love the facets. These are full of sunshine. You know when in the summer, when your curtains opened a tiny little crack and in the morning, the sun, you get a beam just like coming through your bedroom and you look and you think, wow, makes you want to get out of bed. Not many things make me want to get out of bed, but that does. Oh, that's what these are like, that ray of sun that beams through that crack in your curtains. Oh, I love this. What a colour. What a colour. And then it has to go. I love these colours. And you know, I was talking to you. I know you crafters are insanely organised and I love you for it. I wish I was organised. I thought I was being organised by having our uh, Christmas photo shoot yesterday, but apparently not. That is quite organised for me though, because normally I'm everything on Christmas Eve and I normally don't even get round to sending my Christmas cards because I'm, I'm, and I've done shopping and so is Claire. No. Have a look. Oh, now what I was saying is if you are doing Easter stuff and I feel terrible for just saying Easter, but so many of you have told me you're doing your Easter cards. I think you're mad, I love you. I love you. Now, I just think, this is a, a really beautiful combination. Just popping that Amazonite in as well suddenly brightens it up. Look at these, they're brand new. You've never seen them before. Have a look at that color. I love these, I'm just mesmerized, I'm just looking at them. Tropical luxury. I don't think, see I, I don't, I, I'm, I love these petals. I think this is quite English country garden as well as tropical luxury. I think these could be quite wintry as well, actually. I think that so many of us are going to Christmas parties and things, and I think what a glorious combination. How sunny and bright would you be wearing these on a, warm, on a, on a crisp day? Do you know, I do think there's a lot of warmth going on in that citrine, actually, and you could, you could take that and make it autumnal almost, couldn't you? Is it still autumn or are we in winter yet? autumn isn't it look look at the sparkle coming from the citrine absolutely gorgeous look at that it's beautiful isn't it bng c30 do you know I'm in oh gosh it's not even all about I just want to look at these you know when you get those gemstones in your collection and you just want to look at them and you just feel lucky to have the opportunity to work with them and you almost feel like a little bit like you should be sneaking around not letting any jewelers see you using what should be theirs you know you feel a little bit like oh I shouldn't have these I shouldn't have them but you can you are you are getting them now you're also getting some cord with this what are you going to use the cord with it it's up to you. I think I would use sterling silver findings with these, and we are going to give you sterling silver findings, in fact, to go with it. So maybe you want to make something with make I don't know if you want to use them together. For me, I have to keep it delicate with these, and you know I'm a total stickler. I'm not very good at using my imagination, you see, and I, um, with pearls and things like that, and gems like this, I keep it really simple. 
But Gemma, you always tell me off for that, don't you? Yeah, I think keeping it simple has got its definitely got its place. I mean, it, I, often it's the simple jewelry that you wear, isn't it? So if you're, yeah. definitely if you're making for yourself, you know, nice simple jewelry to wear. You can put on easily every day, like thinking I about it. I feel like it. I'm missing on out on opportunities, but I'm not brave enough to go, you know? Yeah, you got to go. Sometimes you just got to go. I know, for it. I know. I'm not I'm a big wimp, though. I'm not <laughs> like you. Now, remember, Rachel Norris uses our gems of distinction for the centres, the stamens of her flowers, which we have got an example of, and I'll show you in a little bit. I don't really give Claire much warning, do I, Claire? Oh, see, she's on it. She's There are no flies on you, babbers. Look at that. I mean, just how gorgeous can you be? The lady is a genius. And again, if you love Karen Crawford, if you love Gemma Crow, keep your eyes peeled. Look at their wonderful designs. Also, we're big fans of Laura Binding with their wire work. And of course, now uh, looking at Alison. Mind blowing, mind blowing. We know Sheila and Linda give us classic designs as well. So if you really want to go classic, and I think. There's a lot, of, there's a big part of me that likes to keep things classic. So if that's for you as well, go and check out their designs. Debbie Bolford makes beautiful tassels. I mean, so many of our guest designers, of course. Debbie Kershaw, who I don't talk about enough because she is really, really inspiring. She does the little name tags and things. I love, I love her designs. If you love Debbie Kershaw, then grab these and put them in your baskets because there's so much inspiration. There is stacks and stacks and stacks and stacks of inspiration. If you like to work with the, the uh, precious metal clays like Natalia, then this would be a perfect one for you. Mark Smith would love this because it's got all of the macrame in it as well, the cords in it for your macrame. Sterling silver findings. Wouldn't it be lovely to give the same kit to every single one of our designers and see what they all came up with and told them all to make one piece of jewellery? I think that would be a really good challenge one day. I think that would be a great idea. Yeah. It's limited edition. This is Gemma's challenge today. You should be paying 65. I need them. Look at that. Look, look. Need it. Got to have it. 65 pounds, 40 pounds just for the gemstones, but you get the sterling silver as well, which is just under 15 pounds on its own. You've got the uh, cord there as well. I'm gonna give to you, how much are the gemstones on their own? Again, 35, 85, 39, so just under 40 quid for the gemstones on their own. 39, 85, 40 pounds for the gemstones on their own. Plus the silver, plus the cord. Oh, oh, Kim just told me that you, but that doesn't, it doesn't matter. Nearly 40 pounds for the gemstones alone. But it's 34.95, but you, you've got silver in here. You always try and do this to me. You know I'm no good at maths. 34, but I know that that's a ridiculous save. That's a brilliant saving. What should this be? This should, what should this be about? Nearly 70 pounds, unbelievable. Unbelievable, what, 65 pounds? Unbelievable. You're getting, well, so what, I'm saving 30 quid? 30, 40, 50, 60. You're saving 30 pounds. That is a major, major, major saving. Got to have it, got to have it. Check out Baskets, it's now gone limited. Oh my gosh, you're saving, Gemma, when you see things like this, 30 pounds saving. I know, it's remarkable, isn't it? How have you found it as well? It, well, it's just beautiful. I haven't, I haven't had as much time to work on it as I'd like. I'd like to take it home with me and work on it some more. <laughs> she, she, that was a hint, yeah. yeah. Let I her do what it? she wants, please. <laughs> Let her do what she wants. £34.95. pence. Amazing. Also, think about Sarah Alvin with all of her uh, wonderful techniques on um, Kumihimo. Because you, you've got that thread in there. If you want to do something really delicate and be inspired by Rachel Norris and then do something inspired by Mark or, or Sarah, fantastic. Go for it. Look at that. Oh, I love them together. You'd feel really, you'd feel really luxurious if you, if you did that, wouldn't you? Oh, beautiful twisted together. Now, goodness me. Goodness me. I've got to move on. We've only got half an hour left. I'm going to give to you. Who's on this afternoon? Do we know? Not sure. Lovely Becky. Does she work every day? She never goes home. I love that girl. She's lovely. Laura Binding. Is she in the building? 
Now, she's launching a new... Div which one is it? Viking Knit 2? Now, she's in all the time lately, Laura. Aren't we... You're getting treated today. Now, look at these, because, again, actually, this is really important. These are flat. Works really well. Gem, I know that um, speaking to Linda, flat gemstones are important. And speaking to the new Sarah the other day, flat gemstones are important to stitch with, because yeah. they just go zip together. Yeah. For Gemma Crow, where are flat gemstones important? These got a thick, well, they're thick, look. Well, flat, flat gemstones are lovely because when you're making a wire work piece like a cuff or, um, or a collar, for example, sometimes if you use a round, like we were talking about with the pearls, yeah. you want them to sit on top so they sit proud. But if you've got a flat stone, you don't have to worry about that. You can just add them in and, and you've got a, a smooth sort of surface then or layer to sit on the skin. So it'll sit against the skin nicely when yeah. you're doing all these elaborate things on top. It's there and it's just sitting and you don't have to worry about, because it's around, it'll push the jewellery around. It'll sit yeah. where it wants to it'll sit. sit within, within the design rather than on top of it then. So that they're, they're very useful for that. Now these are domed on one side as well. So yeah. actually it makes it perfect. So you've got the doming on one side and the flatness on the other and then the flat edges to butt against. So here's the domed. I'm liking my little velvety board. I don't normally have one of these here. And then I'm going to show to you the other side. I'm going to turn it around so you can see. Actually, you do tend to get a lot more luster on the flat side. Do you love this? Yeah, they're really nice. What would I you do with them? Well, I've got some similar shape than Amazonite at home, and they'd look lovely together. Amazonite and lavender mm. amethyst are beautiful together, oh, aren't they? I just imagine a marquise in between. A marquise, top drilled marquise in between each one of those would be nice. Oh, yeah. Yes. They All spark about lots of shape. ideas. Mm. Necklace? Yeah. Bib yeah. necklace? Yeah. Yeah, all about shape. I think it'd be really eye-catching, actually, and because of the subtlety of the colour, you could actually... This would look really, really beautiful with that citrine that was in your kit. I've got to have that. In fact, the whole lot of your with kit With the would aquamarine look as well. And with the aquamarine, yeah. yeah. Actually, all of it, because you've got the amethyst in there as well. I didn't even give you the dimensions of that, did I? I'm just thinking. So mesmerised by them. Look at the... And this is a Rose de France colour. I mean, that'll go really well with Gemma's kit. So if you want that little extra splash of, of shape, then you've got it. Now, I'm going to count these for you, actually, because it could be that you're making pairs of things, so I'm going to count them for you. You could make flowers out to these if you want a little bit of a different a sort of style of flower. Oh, I don't know. I think they're 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 20. 30, 30 on my strand. You should get there or thereabouts. Always the same carrot weight, should get the same. Now I'm gonna give you this, another brand new strand for you today for just £9.95. £9 CHG P84 is your item code. A wonderful opportunity to get yourself something that has tranquil qualities. Now uh, Gemma calls this, uh, Gemma says this is the colour of creativity. And that's what the myth and legend behind it is. And Gem, you always say to me, you create more with purple. Yeah, I do tend to. Yeah. Isn't it funny? And you don't, not intentionally. No, it's not something I really, um, it's not something I noticed until it was brought up. Somebody brought it up and it was, it happened to be a day where I'd had a purple kit. And I'd made that was it, so we were on together. I yeah, and I said, you actually, made loads. Actually, it does. It is always the case, yeah. Isn't it funny? Yeah. I love, I love Amethyst Sweats. February's birthstone, of course, it looks great with pearls. If you bought the pearls earlier, which I think may have sold out, that is a stunning combination. Look at those lovely colours together. We've got, we've got a few left of those, but hardly any at all. I'll let you know, if, if we have got any stock at the end, I'll recap it. I've taken the wrong one away, silly me. Now, uh, again, make sure you're quick. These are, look lovely with the shell that we had today as well. Now I'm gonna give to you I'm going to give to you a toolkit deal. By the way, aren't these gorgeous? Well, I get the bless you, Kim. Oh, it was Claire sneezing in my ear, was it? God love you. Have a look at that. Oh, I love those. Are we having those today? Oh, I love them. Just arrived. Aren't they lovely colours? They are lovely. They look nice just like that, don't they? I, would, I don't want to change anything. I think they look ace like that. It's just a sparkle. That looks so elegant. Now, I'm going to give to you. Are we having two toolkits, Kim? Now, one for you, one for a friend, one for you, two for you. 
like the idea of that better. One for you, one for your daughter. Yeah, Mia could do with her own, although I'm not sure. After yesterday's incident with the washing machine, I'm not sure she's ready for any kind of tools. <laughs> it's, it's amazing how she can operate a horse, but not a washing machine, isn't it? Slightly worrying as well. Now, God love her. She was trying to do me a favor. Now, our tool kits are 9.95 individually which you can still do you can get these on the website always have been always will be now, that's a line out of um out of uh what's her name with the big pants bridget jones bridget jones i love i'm in love with you always have been always will be kim you've been watching bridget jones she said to me 995 always have been always will be now you have got your round nose, your snipe nose pliers or your chain nose pliers, your nippers, your round nose pliers, I know I said that twice, uh, you've got your snips, you've got your tweezers, your scoop, your reamer and you've got your little bead box or findings box, they're always $9.95 on their own. We're going to give you two, it could be that you are creating pieces at home and you're going to your you're going to your fairs and you're doing bespoke pieces of jewelry for your customers it could be that uh, you know you're you're giving them the gemstones and then you're saying right how would you like it and you're making it for them and they come back and they've got it and it's personal that's a nice touch so you might want that perfect set of tools for when you're out and about it could be that you want to get your mum or your best friend into jewelry making with you and you need some new tools it's always great to replenish your tools uh, um, debbie Bolford was telling me she's got one in the car she's got she's got them everywhere or if you're doing workshops and you need you need more tools maybe you're going to have your friends around and, and you want to get jewelry making together Gemma how many of these have you got um 15 for my workshops and then 15 I've got about four just at home that I have around for Tom his friends my niece my nephew anybody who comes around it's nice to be able to do, do that, isn't it? I'm getting my nieces into it. Mina and Leia have been jewellery making. Mm. They're not ready for tools yet. They're just working with elastic at the moment, but I can do those little bits for them. Now, um, the cheapest I've ever seen individual tools for mm. was three pounds a tool. That's the cheapest I've ever seen, right? In which case, three, six, nine, 12. What comes after 12? 15, 18, 21. So that would be about 24 quid, wouldn't it? See how terrible I am, I told you. Now, you've got them in the case, and sometimes, in some cases, cases like this can cost you extra, can't they? They can cost you quite a bit, actually. And they're all zip-fastened, so you can keep them nice and neat and tidy. For me, these are essential. I've got the... I don't know why mine are all under my sink. Most women have cleaning products under their sink. I have ribbon and little tools like this. Mm -hmm. I don't know where my cleaning products are. <laughs> now, <laughs> they're for the man in our house. Now, you have got, I do, I do really. You have got all of this. Remember, they're 9.95 individually. If you want to buy them individually, you can. Um, it's a separate code and they're on the website. Or, or, you can take advantage of this deal because I'm gonna give you both toolkits for just, 14.95 buy one get the other for five pounds here's a great deal for you 0800 644 655 on our phone lines so by buying in bulk you're getting a saving if like Gemma Crow you do a bit of tutoring here and there or maybe you like to go to wedding fairs and things like that and give the brides a little bit of an example of what you can do and you want those separate kits you can maybe it's jewelry making parties that you've got uh, on the go take one with you in your in your box of goodies that you take to the jewelry making party and keep your one for the home there as well 14 pounds and 95 pence it could be that you and your mum are both getting into this and you're fed up with her you and your nippers then uh, you can get these have have your own set uh, we do do that in our house when we share things I put a blob of nail varnish on my thing so I know it's mine everything's got that blob of nail varnish which dates back to when me and my sister used to steal things from each other I know it's mine because it's got red nail varnish on it and then I used to go around and just put red nail varnish on her stuff <laughs> so they all look like mine. Fourteen pounds and ninety-five pence. Well done to everybody that's got theirs. Now I'm going to give you another treat. Some DVDs. Now you get the box. This is Who Needs the Star Wars trilogy? Because I've got the Gemma Crow DVD box set for you. <laughs> this is better than Friends on a Friday night. Now. You've got fabulous findings. This is one of my favourites of yours, actually, Gem, because this means that I can take my wire work so much further. If you were bored with TV this uh, weekend, 
I was apart from Star Wars I've got to say I was quite disappointed uh, now this is perfect the Gemma Crow collection yes please so fabulous findings are going to allow you using both ancient techniques and techniques that Gemma has created herself uh, to help you really go to town with your wire work and if you have been today thinking yeah all right I'm ready for this I'm ready for wire you need this box set now you will we're all familiar with using beading thread beading thread used to be a terrible thing we used to work so hard to hide it and then Gemma Crow came along one day and she said it's not a bad thing why are you hiding it get it out and celebrate it and so we did she was like the Gok Wan of beading thread. She told us, get them out and make them look good. And that's exactly what we did. Colored beading thread then came along because we're really celebrating beading thread. Then, as if this lady couldn't get any craftier, she's bringing us wire mesh and who is not in love with this medium really easy to manipulate you can write your wrongs that's what I like about it you can almost go back in time here's a wonderful headpiece that Gemma's done a wonderful fascinator just beautiful and she did the lily and all of these kinds of things it's just fantastic is this and, and like I say if you make a mistake you just undo it yeah if only life was so simple I know now we've seen this today already and I'm in love with this DVD. I'm in love with this medium and I really love, I really do promise you it's one of my favourite things and it's all that chunky dory. It's the sort of thing you expect to see when you go to the uh, Christmas markets and buy some really pretty gloves as a Christmas gift. I, lo I love it. And then we've got the motifs with a fusion of Gemma Crow and Rachel Norris. Does it get any better than that? Does it? They're like the girls allowed of jewellery maker. <laughs> MCG C33, 32. This is the Gemma Crow collection, 5, 10, 15, 20. So about just under 25 pounds worth of DVDs here, plus the box. Hang on a minute, you've got about 25, is that right? 25 pounds, it, yeah, just under. All right, you're about to get a ridiculous deal. This is gonna be a good one, are you ready? They're all good ones, but this is particularly good. Claire went, whoa, whoa, 10 pounds, 25, I'm saying it quiet because Anna Roxby's in the gallery, 25 pounds worth of value here. You do get the box as well. All of this for just 10 pounds. The value is phenomenal. Don't forget your extended money back guarantee, 10 pounds up to the 31st of January. Next year is your extended money back guarantee. So well done to everybody who's got this in a basket. Fantastic deal, wonderful value, and totally must have. Now, I'm gonna give to you this little two strand pack on my right. Where is it? Oh, here, yeah, this one. Now, Gem and I just want to keep it. How would I do that? Would it be with needle and thread? Yeah, or you could do it. The ladder weave would keep it sort of in tight bead loom. Would it keep it straight, the ladder weave? Yeah, it would do. I'd be tempted to put a little spacer along the bottom row, tiny little gold spacer along the bottom row, so that it gave um, it that in, curve. in the gemstones or underneath them? In between the bottom row. Yeah. So you do the ladder weave, but on the one side, in between each bead on the lower row you'd put a tiny tiny spacer bead and then it would give it that curve so that it would sit curved around the neck this is why she's here she knows so to get that yeah because you're right because otherwise it sort of squares off and you it doesn't go move fluidly yeah. around the neckline does it yeah now you've got all these lovely colors now have you ever had that jewelry maker block we've all had it maybe Gemma Crow's even had it, I'll ask her in a minute, where you're, you start to put colours together, you sort of start to doubt yourself. And I even get it with outfits. And I have to walk around like, does this, do these shoes go with this dress? Does this gemstone work well with this gemstone? Now, the, the benefit of having a strand like this is that all these colours are together. So if you get one of those mental block days where you're just, I'm just totally having one of those, you know, it, it, it writer's block, like, it's like that, isn't it? Mm. Then grab a strand like this and start to work with colour. When you take these all off their strands and all the colours cascade together, you get that light bulb moment. Now personally, I wouldn't mess with these colours. I know Mark Smith is probably knocking on the telly now going, colour graduate, colour graduate, colour graduate. I can almost see you there, Marky. Um, do you know what? 
I like them together. Whether you're going to do a fusion, which I do love, I do, I really do. But I'm a lazy jewellery maker, me. So what I'm going to do is don't do don't do a Jenny Cleary. Well, the first thing I did when I first started unstranding thing, and then thinking, well, how do I put that back together? Don't just go and get it all off. No. Just thread through with your thread, and then pull your cord out, and then you don't. And then it's then it's nothing to worry about. Gem, I'm looking at these and just thinking they are super juicy. They are very 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 sparkly I just adore these colors they're winter mm. they're sort of fruits of the forest colors yeah what would you do with these I I would definitely do the ladder weave like that and it's it's like you were saying about the color putting colors together I'm I until I started doing the kits here I was a bit scared of color as Are well you, were you really yeah. honestly yeah honestly and now even now when I get everything out around me I think oh you tend to play it safe so it is nice to have those together and you just think, right, I'm gonna have, I'm just gonna have it all in one. You know what I mean? So I would yeah. definitely put a, a bit of gold or a bit of silver but in there. But you keep them essentially together. Yeah. Would you colour graduate them or would no. you just do what I did with the thread? No, I'm gonna, I would leave them exactly like that. Yeah, I think I would. I, I like the randomness of the colours. Yeah. I do. Limited, right, already 70 of these have been allocated. Approach it, more than half of the entire stock has gone and been allocated. We are, a hundred of these are gone now. Kim, everyone's going wild for the, the only eight pounds. Change for 10 pounds. What do you get in life? Change for 10 pounds that perhaps you could make the best gift ever out of. Perhaps you could make a profit out of these, you tell me. Perhaps you could mix these up with other colors. Perhaps you could put these with the whites that we had earlier. Perhaps you could use these to frame a gemstone a little bit like this. Don't forget I've got this, girls. Woo Have a look. Oh, maybe you could do that, but in colour. How wonderful would that be? Maybe you're working on the most amazing, huge wirework project. These would be awesome, wouldn't they? What about putting a head pin through there, letting that ball from the head pin? Just give you that anchor, lovely little loop the other side, and then bubble it, bubble bracelet all around. That'd be gorgeous, all that movement, wouldn't it? Yeah, and in the end as well, gizmo coils. Just gizmo, and then those in between the gizmo coils, because they're rondelles, they work really well. They're just so gorgeous, nice. aren't they? Now, today has been a lot about focusing on wire work. We have got the wonderful Laura Binding milling around and she's coming up with some amazing things for you. Now, my presenter's pick here, limited stock of this now, beautiful sky blue topaz. Oh, it makes me feel all cold, I love it. I feel like getting winter mohair whites out, lovely jumpers and boots, all gorgeous things. No, these are only 15.95. They are gems of distinction. You get that glow, you get that bubble as well because they're not faceted and we are used to seeing facets. So sometimes, so many of you have said to me, right, I love that, but I don't want the facet because the, my focal twinkly gemstone is actually gonna be clear quartz. These are wonderful to have that nice smoothness, aren't they? So get yourself on the phone lines for these. At just 15.95, you're getting an absolute treat. And these are separated to stop them rubbing together, but also to individualize those. And whether you want to relay that in your design or not, it's, it's, they just, it just works, doesn't it? Now, I'm also going to give you the opportunity to, to have another look. I'm going, I promise you, I can't hear anything lately. I'm always like, pardon? Does it come with age? What is it? <laughs> what? I need one of those horns. Have a look. I love these higgledy piggledy pearls. We are very, 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 very limited on this strand. Tiny amounts are left. Probably one of our most popular strands of the day, this, these pearls were. They're fresh water, they're expensive looking, they're beautiful. I want them in my hair. I want them, I want them for when Amelia gets married, which I don't <laughs> think will be long. Jenny. Do I tempt fate with you when I say that? I tell you, I predict you. You can get married soon. Six ninety-five. I predict a New Year's Eve proposal for Amelia. I predict it. Now, at six ninety-five, I think you're getting one of the best, best strands. I, 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 I am actually literally lost for words at the value that we're seeing here. Six ninety-five. It's as mad as pinks in space. 
It is. It's as mad as pigs in roads, which happened yesterday with our pig. Now, um, challenge, that's it. There we are. <laughs> Very limited on this one. Have we even got any stock left? Because this was approaching single figures, wasn't it? Only a couple left. So I'm really sorry if I'm teasing you here. Sterling silver findings. You've got your beading threads. And you've got three of the most glorious strands I've seen for a long. I love them. Today has been, today's keyword is glorious, I think. Glorious. Now, at $34.95, hey, tell me again, because this confused me, this price tag. These, were, the gemstones should be 40 pounds, just a couple of pennies shy of 40 pounds on their own. But we're also giving you 15 pounds worth of sterling silver. We're also giving you your beading materials. We're giving you your monofilament, your elastic, your beading thread. This deal is bananas. I love it. $34.95, and, and to have that opportunity, now I wonder what, oh, she's done it, that lady. She's made some glorious, glorious pieces of jewelry as always. She said, you never take a compliment, you. You're brilliant and that's the end of it, so there. She's like, oh, never confident, never confident. And there's me all rubbish and like, yeah, there's Now, uh, oh gosh, come on, let's have a look at Gemma's treats. Now I can see something that's gonna be going in, in my hair. Gemma, come on, let's much, have a look. Now, I have been talking to you a lot, so I can't believe yeah. you've even made this much. Oh my gosh, oh, the flower, oh my gosh, that flower, and I love what you've done with the cord. This Perfect. The cord, yeah. This is gorgeous. <laughs> this is, I Absolutely wanted to do something gorgeous. different with the cord. I didn't want to muck around my hair. I thought, well, maybe we can do something funky with that. I've never seen anyone use cord. This is amazing. Do you love it? Claire loves that. This would look good in your Fun. hair, Claire, because you've got that lovely dark hair. Going to any wedding? Oh, Kim, for your sister's wedding. This will look great in your hair for your sister's wedding. Are you going to be a bridesmaid, Kim? She said she, she hasn't been asked, but she's going to be anyway. She's going to be anyway. Yeah. That's what I've decided at my mum's wedding. Well, I told my best friend if I wasn't her bridesmaid, I was turning up to her wedding in a wedding dress. Hmm. So I was the bridesmaid. <laughs> <laughs> no, this really is beautiful, isn't it? Have a look at this. Oh, I love that. Isn't it beautiful? Just simple, yeah. The stones, the, you don't need to do anything much with those stones, do you? They just do all the talking for you. It's very simple. Gorgeous. I love that. I love it. Now, these earrings, oh, they're going in my ears. Those are blinking gorgeous. Absolutely. And that's it, just two of those. Two of those, and you've got a really lovely pair of earrings. Claire, just take a little shot of the, those earrings there, darling. Just in case you need, you can't find them later. Okay. <laughs> she went, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. nothing changes Jenny Cleary. There we go, thank you. Look at the flower. Oh, can I wear these? Yeah, I don't see why not. Thank you, Gemma. Look at the facets. Now, if you are mind blown by wire today, the wire continues with the fantastic Laura binding. We've been inspired beyond inspiration today. I'm also going to give you the opportunity to learn. Thank you, Magical Hands Mikey. No, not that one, Mikey, oh. wrong one. Alison's DVD, Alison's. the one with the box on. Oh, Amelia. Anyway, let me show you what's on the DVD because we are running out of time. You have got the box, the stocking, and you have also got the bell that goes ding-a-ling-ling -ling at just four pounds and 95 pence. It's the wire sculpture DVD. There's the box, it opens. I love that it opens. Here it is. There's the stocking. You could actually put a little pair of earrings in tissue paper inside there, couldn't you? Could, yeah, hang it on a tree. It makes Lovely. me want to sing Christmas jingles. I want you to get more Christmassy, come on. Me? Yeah. I'll get there. Are you on your Christmas Give me stuff? time. You're on your Christmas stuff? Yeah, that's all I've been doing, making for Christmas, yeah. Been flat what have you been doing? Just sets, sterling silver sets, box sets. Oh, for presents? Yeah, presents. Commissions? Commissions, or yeah, commissions and for sale, you know. So, yeah. Gemma, if I want to buy your pieces, where do I go? What, how do I do it? Just come to my website, Gemma Crow. I'll just knock on your front door. Oh, yeah, Gemma! Can. Yeah. The thing is, all new things don't get on my website anymore. I've got no time to photograph and put them on. But like I say, go before they're on. <laughs> yeah. Gemmacrow.com. Yes. Okay. 
dot com, Gemma Crow dot com. Mm -hmm. I haven't been on your website. I just ring you or Facebook you, yeah, don't yeah, I? That's probably easier. Send you a text. <laughs> when are you back next, Gemma Crow? It's on the twenty eighth. Twenty eighth of November. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you've got workshops coming up as well. When are they? And, and have I got any spaces? Tomorrow. I'm not sure if there's any spaces That's full. tomorrow. I full. Think full. Um, and then I haven't got any until January. Because you're so busy. Because I think there is another one next month, but it's full as well. I know that. So. <sighs> She's January. a busy, busy lady, a busy, busy lady. Tune in at one o'clock. We have the fabulous Laura Binding. Don't forget tonight, it's Eleanor and Scotty McBotty at five o'clock. Freeview 50, if you're watching on, 50, on uh, Freeview. And you have got your extended money back guarantee. Don't forget, check out Baskets now. It's been wonderful having your company. Uh, our, all of Gemma's designs are going on our Facebook right now. We'll see you later. Bye, darlings. Bye. Join us on Jewelry Maker as we count down the days until Christmas. Stay tuned to see perfect Christmas gifts for all your friends and family at prices you won't believe. And what's more, anything you buy can be refunded or exchanged until the 31st of January. So for hassle-free shopping and great value, it has to be Jewelry Maker.